Okay. Mm-hmm. Numbers are counting up. I'm okay. glad you said that on the wall. <clears throat> That's awesome, Jim. Thanks. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. So right. then people can now get into my iPad. What was that? You wanted to know? <laughs> so it is ah, Wednesday, ah, the 7th of August 2024, and we are playing session 7 of Spelljammer. You're the only two in the table. Okay, Good. so just to get up to date before we start. I know that the characters all took a short rest at um, the start of last session in order to get their hit points up to date. I I, I certainly have full hit points right now. Okay. So it was definitely a short rest and not a long rest. Good. Yes, we only had a short rest. Now, that means most people's abilities that can recharge on a short rest have recharged. True. Uh, Dave, I can't remember whether Albion, sorry, whether Albain. Uh, Albain is me. Yes, Albain is you. Aldir is me. the other. Yes. Um, did really? She, we went. We've back. Did we? Yeah. we did Can't she wait. use any of her bardic inspirations? Yes. I, let me just. I will tell you how many I've used. Okay. Um, yeah, a little, um, no, that's not spells. Hang on. Let me find out. I've, no, I've used. I think I've used two. But let me just double check on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when I was double checking what abilities mm-hmm. recharged, I discovered to my horror that um, uh, <coughs> bardic inspiration does not recharge on a short rest; it's on a long rest. Two, two out of four. Okay. Yep, cool. I was right. I know, and it even says resets on long rest. So no, I've got two more. Okay. You know what would be hilariously funny? Yeah. Well, somebody watches our YouTube and goes, "That's my hero to you." Forge character. <laughs> He's I hope they do. I hope they do. If anyone is missing this character, like if you put your address in the comments, we'll post it to you. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What if somebody's honestly missing it? I, I how are they going to tell from would there? Pe- would people lie on the internet though? Would they go? Would they someone tell go? From oh, there? Oh, it is, this is a hundred percent. It is literally physically impossible oh, for people to tell truth on the internet. I have somebody else's figure. Yes. and they've got mine. So if you zoom, oh, you're gonna have like a hostage exchange thing, are you? Take you a, can exchange my I figure feel, for I yours. I think I'll just reprint them. The same Take a now. still from this video. Zoom right in on the figure. Better. Use that magical enhance ability yep. that's from um, yep. from what's what was Blade the movie Run. called? Blade Runner. Thank Blade you. Run. And yeah, really I'm playing with her. Stop that. And then, <laughs> then, then claim it's your figure, regardless. Your chief take fire match is mine. <laughs> Behave yourself, Peter. Okay. You feel better about yourself. Then? Yes, go on, Peter. I also want to ask people if they've done anything fabulous which would uh, earn them inspiration points for this no. session. Although well, no, last time yeah, you had the idea of um, looking around, and you didn't get to do it, checking to see whether there was an entrance into the dungeon complex. Yep. This is a good idea um, for reasons which will become apparent. Yes. So you get an extra inspiration point. Ooh, thank Peter. You. You, as a player, recognise the Neogi simply from the description. Okay. You get an inspiration oh, point. Oh, Does great. anybody else, either as a player or as a character, a done something yep. fabby which will earn them inspiration points? Where do I put these points? It should be up uh, towards the top. The I can't, I've got this thing, so... There. I made a special section yeah, for Yeah, just it. put one in oh, there. Oh, wow. Yep. Just put one in there, and then you can use that. It's just a roll advantage, isn't it, Zach? I think so, yes. Yeah, let me try and help you. So, you're, so higher armor class the, is better in this game. Yes, so is that, is that the way it's been in Dungeons and Dragons for quite some time and I've never noticed? Yes. Yeah. I don't often give it out. I forget about it. It's not that I don't want you to have it. It's just I forget about it all the time. So basically you can choose before you know the result to roll advantage oh, on a roll. That wasn't the question I was asking. No. But that's good too. The armor class in this. <laughs> no, what? The armor what? class is the difficulty class. Right, right. okay. Yeah. So it's different yeah. from Robin DD. What? Well, then actually, yeah, I was no, talking no, about no, armor no. class. Yeah. So what I said was has, has armor. I, I asked Saxon if higher armor class was better yeah. in this game. It is. And he said yes. And, he said, and then I said, has that been the case in DD for quite some time? And yes. He said, yes. But not when playing 
Not when you. playing my old school the lower red the better. box stuff. Second edition and earlier, lower is better. Yeah, and um, I love. I it. basically never evolved past second edition. I'm nine, still nine stuck. is basically. I'm out. still stuck at second edition. Can I just say, I did enjoy that module. I really <laughs> it was fun. a good module. Yeah, I did enjoy that module. Um, I mostly played it as it was. I glossed over some bits and elaborated yeah, on nice. others. <laughs> <laughs> it felt nice. It felt nice. Yeah, it was historically fun. Well, it was I fun. Want, I want to do another one. Yeah, I will. It's I nice when it's back. <laughs> I think I will. We'll do another question. Now. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I never played any of the classics, so I want to play mm. them. Keep, keep on the Borderlands. Oh, yeah, could oh, do. Yeah, could do. Yeah, Saxon, what would you like I to do? I have no idea what happens in it. I it's cannot really remember if I discussed decided. this house rule back when we last played in yeah, 2022, mm. but because this is basically the end fight in this act, everybody gets one extra inspiration point simply as a default. So in addition to those ones you got personally, yeah, everybody oh. has oh, an extra good. point. No, no, you can never have more than one inspiration point. This is a house rule. So I Jesus, now have we've broken spe okay. spe right. specific rules, override general rules. Okay, sure. You're allowed to do All that. Right, you do that all I the time. Except I can't record it I, I, I better give the boss an experience point, uh, an inspiration yeah. point. Yes, please. Now, who wants to play Mellow Cat? No. No? Who's that? The cleric? Who's sure. The, who's the cleric? Who's the cleric? Oh, is it the NPC, the cleric? Yes. Sure. We have an NPC. Oh, I've had it there the whole time and I didn't realise. Oh, oh, no, look oh, what happens. I'm a doofy. Oh, no. no. I'm a doofy doofer head. Oh, I'm a big duffer. Oh, what a duffer. I'm going to cry now. What a big duffer. He's a big gaffer. Okay, so once yeah, I get the mounted, do we wish to be about myself? Well, when you get what yourself was the mounted, what happened last week? Oh, I'll write it on here. Okay. Pardon? What's that? The plot that happened last week. Urban was not here and must be. Um, yes, let's updated. talk about it. Let's update the, ourselves. The dead magic zones are spreading. And it prevents magic from what happening. Are you talk oh, oh, hang what? On. Yes. oh, my thing. Yes, we yes, need to yes. rescue the father. Uh, we were walking six to so six point four kilometers to the townhouse. <laughs> that's, we thought that walking that's, that's amusingly <laughs> precise. Yep, that's what we said. Yeah. We were going to sneak closer to the estate to see if we could get into this place. We were we were going to an estate. Yes, man. Pete knocked someone unconscious. I knocked several people. We're sneaking around the house. We found a birthing chamber. Underneath and, in the and there is a, a Neogi, is that right? Yes. Neogi spaceship arriving, and this thing is giving birth, and the babies are eating it as like this it's massive spider-like creature. And uh, what you glossed over was that the party split into two yeah. some parties right now. Yeah. Some of us are in the basement in watching the, the horror me, unfold. Me, you, and Dave are in the basement, and the rest of the party are watching a ship full of Neogi land. So mm. that's what it's, it's a wolf scorpion. And How do we spell the O G I? That's how I spell it here. Neogi. Masha Toshi. E O G I. Let me see if I got a picky. I may have a picky or I may have a Oh, hold on one second. Of course I've got a picky. I don't know. Freaking hell. They're terrifying looking things. There he is. Neogi. Ooh. The spider eaters, big wolf spider bodies with eel heads. Hang on, that's the spider, not the neogi. That's in the ogre. One of the same. Ah. Okay. Oh, neogi bodies. Yeah. 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 Neogi's are spiders. Or something spider like anyway. Basically, um, after Doctor Who episode of the spiders. Yeah. Planet of the, the spiders. spiders. Yes. I like that one. It's good, Doctor Doctor. I have very few memories of that one. I need to rewatch it. Um, basically, in the aftermath of the fight scene way back in 2022, you captured one of the assailants. The uh, enchantment wizard over here uh, used charm magic on him to make him think he was oh, a friend right, yes. and asked questions. Um, they decided that they would go to the country estate of the crime lord Lagadon. Thanks for filling in all the gaps. Yes. Um, you rented out some horses and rode 
uh, in the direction of the country estate, and you went and parked your horses up on a hill on a copse of trees. Yep. And then using spy glasses. Whose spy glass was that? Was it? Uh, was that uh, Jono's character, or did somebody else have it? Probably Jono's character. It does matter. Yeah. Um, Somebody else. Spied upon the house, snuck up um, across the <laughs> property line, and uh, went to the stables, which are here. Um, the players sorted out who had the best stealth skills. And stealthed inside. Now, who was in that party? It was Professor um, Bobo. Yes, Professor Bobo, Aldea, and Aldea. Uh, Peter's character, I believe, with the Maynard. Three. Maynard, yes. yes. So, Alboyne and everyone else's. Both in Virgil, Alboyne, and Lilith were all outside. Right. I couldn't remember because I was playing Professor Bobo, so I couldn't remember if it was ah. Alboyne or Bobo that went. Yes. But it was Bobo. Of course it was Bobo. Bobo. Because <coughs> Bobo's amazing. I think Bobo left. Um, so they Don't snuck watch. inside. They, uh, But only after Peter knocked out or killed. I can't remember. Can I see the map of the I, I, so, I killed Did several people. Pass? You killed several people. I, I wasn't including the footman who came out to light the sconces. Did uh, I kill him? I thought Dave killed him. No, I think he killed, killed the guy who was lighting the thing. Okay. You killed the guy who was lighting the thing. No, I didn't. I was the lady. Are you sure? Yep. Check the tape. So there's... I don't remember killing what, the guy why, who lighted the call? Why do we call it a tape? There's no tape involved. <laughs> it's it's Ameri- a throwback. It's an Americanism. It's a saying. No, it's only if you're Trump. <laughs> he's fucking stuck in the past. Nobody calls it a dog. No, I haven't called this a tape since they were actually tapes. I don't think that's true. I've never called I think we could check this tape and see that you have. (laughs) Tape? Were you born in the 70s? Yes. Yes, the 60s, actually. So desk, me too. No, it's a recording, therefore it's a tape. Oh, God, is it important? And we have spools of it. And we put them on the side of our computers. Stop it. When they make swirly Stop. patterns. We hold them up to the sun and read them. <laughs> yes, ticker tapes. Oh, Printouts in ticker tapes. The information is stored in punch cards. Oh, you put in one of the machine and you turn the handle. Yeah. And you get a little dog and pony show. And eventually you'll find out what Strauss' character was doing. Yes. This is getting silly. Okay. Back on track. The Wait. stealth tires team went inside. They snuck down past the kitchens looking for a hypothetical dungeon. Although, as discussed previously, Dave Stroud's character did express the interest of trying to find a side entrance. Um, they went down and found uh, a corridor which descended half a flight of stairs got some keys which were sitting on oh, the wall right. beside the door, opened up, and they entered into a large circular room. Oh, circularity. Circularity, yep. <gasps> so you come in from here. Yep. There is a big circular room. It is 50 foot across it's been a long time with um, about 10 foot or so of uh, mezzanine here. Now, I stopped at that point, so I did not give, deliberately did not give you a fuller description, simply because it was a cliffhanger. So now we'll go through and actually describe what's in here. These little square things, they are comfy chairs. From this level, you go down one level, and there is uh, the grand old master Miyoki, who um, is down there writhing in pain, moaning, growling, and this goes up a total of three stories. So basically, you're on the middle level, even though you can't get up here because there's nothing there. Well, there there's like a pyramid thing in the middle of the arena? No, it's simply a little flat um, floor with the Yogi there. That's all. Uh, so what's going up three stories? 
the roofing roof. area. Oh, oh, the roof, right. Sorry. Thank you. I'm imagining somebody getting on the phone going, Hey, man. Hey, man. You want to see Niyogi give birth next weekend, man? Come along. <laughs> I've got snacks and comfy chairs. What, what, what sort of... Are these just ordinary comfy chairs or... Metal dust. They are, you can easily tell from that. Moderately so. opulent, comfy chairs. So they're Fractal actual chairs. chairs really like these chairs. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. you know you're so wrong. They're built for humans. Yes. Or, or humanoids, at least. Humans. Now, that's actually a, a closed door there. Uh, so you can't actually see the stairs that go down, but that was something you can investigate. Um, make a perception check. Everybody? The people who are here, yeah. That would be the people downstairs, which is Professor Toto and. No, this is going to be good. Aldair oh, and. Hang on. So Captain uh, Fabulous, whatever his name is. Maynard! Yeah. I got eight, so it's probably not good. I don't know, do you need. Maynard Fabishan. Fabishan. I, I was pretty close with Captain so Fabulous, was wasn't I? Were, but not Nine quite. And four. The cleric. Mr. Kitty Cat the wins again. Has, <laughs> I don't think the cleric's with you. Oh, oh. Damn it, I just wasted a natural 20 then. Thank you, Saxon. Hey, you well, you can port it across if you want. I'm there as well. No. Are you? Okay. I thought I'd just... You are, yes. Oh, you yes. are. Okay, Dave's character's not there. As First 20 I rolled with this dice yes. and it was for nothing. Yeah, you have to save up those 20s. That's how that works, isn't it? Lies! Ha ha! I just wasted a free. I'm saved. Okay, so what was the numbers? Yours was eight. Nine. Nine. And yours is with the nothing. Professor Bobo okay. sees all. Oh, I ain't going. That said, I'm so glad I put that. Your totes should use, mm -hmm. well, probably you do. Your totes you can use uh -huh. Dungeons and Dragons, or at least Dungeons and Dragons dice to teach probability to primary school children. Probably. Of course they do. God knows that's okay. how I learned, doesn't it? As you look at it, there's a knock at the door. There's a knock at the door. Somebody's knocking at the door. It has been 17 minutes since he turned up. Excellent. Told you. What did I tell you? She's a person. Ring a bell. Do me a favour. Open the door. Let him in. Who's behind the green door? Don't open the green door. It's a pre-search scene of other horror behind the green door. Green door. What's that? What's behind the green door? There's an old piano and it's playing. That's <laughs> where Bluebeard is keeping Good the God, proverbial key all. covered in blood. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
You are we just, one level up and then yes, this thing is on the up. floor? You're one level up. So yes. the spider yeah. thing is oh, on the floor. It's down there. Being currently being eaten by its young. Not cool. yet. But the, the young are emerging. The young are, are writhing underneath its skin. You reckon it's not going to be long before they burst forth and do nom noms. Okay, it's there. Oh, it's yep. still Where impregnated with it. We're yes. up one level. And you're up one level on the mezzanine level. Okay, well, let's just stay on the mezzanine and move around this way. Yeah. Now, you notice the from this door... There is blood on the floor. Yes. Blood. Coming out of this door, door, there is blood. Um, some of that is brown blood. Off. Some of it is fresh. On blood. the level we're on, or the blood. On the on the level. On the level we're on. Not on the level you're on. No. Down in, on the, in the arena. Right. In the the arena. arena. It's clearly well, it could be past. Yeah, it could be past gladiatorial blood. Doesn't yeah. necessarily have to do so anything. To are do they with probably fed the Miyogi before it gave birth? Oh, who fed? Who? There's nobody else here. And they charge people Are to you watch. Sure? Who likes Neogis? Nobody, Nobody likes Neogis. likes Neogis. Neogis don't even like Neogis. No, Neogis right, okay. let's, just, let's just keep going before the crowd arrives and find out what's going on. Sounds good. Okay. So, um, Presumably before we do that, um, I will no, have you do a, a law check. It could be um, well, it's nature yeah, yeah. or but history it's or... Head off. Okay, nature or history check. Nature or history or anything else appropriate for... Trying to remember stuff about the Neo. Now, this is going to be a hard one. So, uh, 14. Um, okay, hang on. How am yeah, I going to go? My nature and history roles are good. Easy, easy ones, 14. Oh, I think it's only the guys that are in the arena. Yeah, there's yeah. three of them. No teleporting into the arenas. No. How did you go? What did you get? I got 14. Nature or history. It should be okay. But you said it was hard. So, it's like, oh, Jesus. Oh, Misty really Mountain. Okay. Um, no, it's just me. Nature. Um, Whatever Saxon, is best for you. Oh, I will. Best it best won't matter. They're both okay. plus two. That's, but I will spend just one roll. of my inspirations to roll at advantage. Oh, okay. Mm. You okay? If you want to, yep. I do. I do want. Urban, did you make a. Oh, 19. Yeah, your character is uh, 21. Saxon? Oh, no problem. Um. Okay, the Neogi, when they get to uh, old age, uh, you know that um, other Neogi take note of this. They poison the uh, gentleman who is getting old. This causes their metabolisms to destabilise. Uh, they become mindless things of uh, ravening rage. I'm telling you this. They simply feed the great old master. He grows in size. Um, you may remember I said he'd grown to the size of slightly larger than a draft horse in our mm -hmm. last session. Mm -hmm. So he's about 1.6 to 2 metres tall. And um, basically uh, the young begin to develop inside its body. Who invented these weirdos? Uh, CSR back in AD&D &D days. And he was in really? Is that how, well, I've never heard of these Neogi things. How old? How far they go back? They're spell jammers, so it's like oh, it's a spell jammer. It's yeah. spell jammer. It's spell jammer. So it's I never did spell jammer. Exactly. Yeah. So they're old, but they're niche. Okay. So yeah. Um, you don't really. The fact that they've got somebody here and he's grown to this size means he must be being fed by somebody. So you should be on your guard. Yeah, Mr. What's-His-Face has made a deal with the Neogi. He's going to sell them a, a gnome drive. Well, that's my theory anyway. Seems okay. like a good one. Okay, so what, you're, you're circling option. around. We should go with that. You can see a second door up here. Feels Make like a perception check. We're going around the other way. Yeah, I know. Teacher Dave? Yeah. Eight. I have just completed my last Ever. Yeah. Teacher review. No, you'll come oh. back to teach you, mate. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's a 40, 13. Okay, no problem. Now you're Nobody so, uh, did you, Nobody um, you can check out any time you so, like. So, um, yeah. what was the I nature did. of the Parthian shot you gave to them? I miss teaching. See? I miss it. He misses okay. it. You'll miss it. Hang on, he was asking you a question. Sorry. I'll... No, 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 I was asking you a question. What was the nature of the Parthian shot you gave? Oh. Parthish. Oh, when I when I finished off. When you finished, yes. Um, I walked into the um, the office of the head of head of sec head of, head of secondary, and he's taking back all the cards that we we put out for mm -hmm. uh, teachers, uh, the, their name cards, so the parents know where you go. And um, I came in, 
and I tore it in front of him. And he just goes, <laughs> you didn't have to come in here to do that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. A souvenir, okay, right? you it, s- felt, it felt somewhat worryingly good to do that too. Okay. So as you circle around the mezzanine, you see a second door diagonally opposite, sorry, directly opposite the first one that you saw. Um, it doesn't have any blood stains in front of it on the floor down no. on ground level. And those of you who have re- rolled reasonably high suddenly think, hmm, indoor combat arena. Yes, definitely. Yes, we thought that before. Okay. Sorry, I must have missed that. Okay, no, so what I, are you doing I, as you I, circle around? It just does make sense. It's, it's an arena covered in blood. Okay. It's easy. We either need I thought to, the blood was because our feet had bit We either need to try and kill this thing no, or no, 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 look just, for... We just, it, it said the arena. It's not going to come and chase after us. We just need to go down here and, and find words. out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the hundred no, billion no, spider things are going to come chase after us. What level, what level are you guys on? One. We're up. <laughs> on the mezzanine, you're, you're on the just, mezzanine. Okay. I'm thinking the phrase. The I'm thinking you're the phrase. The kill it with fire. <laughs> kill it with fire. Kill it with a stick. Burn it with holy fire. Sounds like a good, <laughs> good option right now. I don't think we should let this thing live. We're about to get a whole ship full of these things. If you kill all these, maybe you want later. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to look for the gnome. So you're leaving me. <laughs> I'm there as well. Yes, Captain Giraffe's the best. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the best quote so far. Urban, what are you going to do? What can I look at? <laughs> We're going to leave it. You're going to you're gonna jump into the arena. No, the other door. The... That's the door we came in on. What could possibly go wrong? you want to go down there. Mm-hmm. What about how far down is it into the arena? 27 miles. How far? Well, if I jump That's, um, uh, oh, God, I don't know. Um, I can what's, uh, what's, jump what's, what's, what's normal and ceiling height? That's ruined. something like six. Upon the mountain. Upon let's, the okay, look, let's go standard 10 by 10 by 10. Yeah. The, the it's room. 10, so it's 10 foot. It's 10 the foot. Best so like, the teeniest bit to the 10 foot, so that foot. if you jump, and you don't get falling damage. How's that? Is the, and you won't oh, be okay. able to get back out unless someone so helps you. The, it's the two towers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that that blood is coming that's from somewhere. But that's for later. It's like, remember this, guys? Remember what I this? love about it is, Professor Burton would say, "What else?" No, As I look over the edge, who knows mm-hmm. the Lord of the Rings goes, "Actually, yeah, where, where that that's exactly blood right. is? <laughs> like, is it? We has it like splashed up against time. the wall and down there, or has it come from somewhere that's like so a?" Well, it has. L- it's Classic got all of, of the hallmarks, hallmarks of having oh, been brought in um, on something which came through the door. Which and was Oh, and then thrown the over the side? No, no, no. Something opened this door, yep. threw it in here, then the OV ate it. Oh, okay. So it didn't come in from that way. There's no Actually, point in going down there then. Because I thought if it's come in from there, maybe we'd go in that way and see what it is. Whatever, whatever's in here will be at the bottom of these stairs. Possibly. Right, okay. I think we'll just no, like paddle. Urban, you want to just, we're just going to follow? Yeah. We'll just yeah. go, okay, yeah, we're just going to go around. No, 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 no. I, I agree with no, the no, no. So no, you no, unlock no, the no, door no, and head no, down no, the no, stairs. I suppose I'll just return the key. No, 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 no. Now it's got some... You don't see all of that at once, obviously. I think it's coming from that You're coming down the stairs now. Ah, that is a door to the thing. There is a door there, immediately there. Now, okay, so we're here. You, yeah. Yeah, I've fallen over. Yeah, it went on for a bit too long. I've fallen over but again. I'm drunk. Um, I'm sorry about that. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, um, okay. the the ring you is about are the in best a, a large underground room. room. It is yes. reasonably well and lit. That one was it just smells of stable. And replacing uh, your Findel. Animal smells, uh, manure smells, the I smell of um, I just food, including hay and, and, and but also the smell of blood because of meat. That fell apart. As you look around... A you have a, a number of choices. what is normally film stuff, but it, they're not quite yeah, horses look, stable I'm, I'm um, much rooms the because they've got the some. I know why they them. did it, but it wasn't. Empty. They're pretty much agree, empty. They, they have got like some bales of hay did, and yeah, fodder in the back there, but there's no animals yeah, inside. Yeah, they've had some sort of meat. I'm concerned. What should have happened is Arwen, as she was in the got chain wire fences with and the flag. Those can be opened in full. 
Creating large animals in or out, but there is also inside them a much smaller door set inside. Are there any animals there now? There are not any animals there. The petting zoo is empty. Yeah, the petting zoo is closed. Yeah, that's correct. These are empty. What are they going to feed this thing now? I suppose they don't need to. No, over tables. Yeah, that's correct. 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 Yeah, that's
from the context of what you see, it's not so much yeah, a paid thing, it's, it's more um, upper it's class of decadence. So it's entertainment while they work out their deal. That's so yeah. the fight club. Um, fight the first rule. Which is why we're not going to talk about this stuff. Now, specifically, um, the most recent paperwork indicates yeah. that the great old master was brought in about three quarters of a month, I guess, so it's what, about three weeks ago, and is under orders to be fed so that he grows and eventually hatches. Yeah, so the people are coming for this performance. Mm. Yeah, yeah. For a given value of people, yes. <laughs> Maybe the name. Not Gri or whatever they call it is coming back to Star Trek and Vegas. No, no they're coming to watch. No, these are sycophants that are coming to watch this thing get devoured. <laughs> it's like you can hear people coming. You can hear the sound of a cart coming from this direction, and there are people talking. Yeah, because what are you always doing? Always tired because tired because tired tired tired. into the office. Yeah, well, <laughs> if they've got a cart, they're not, not going to come into the office. Yeah, yeah, they they could well, and well, if might, they do, they might go and give them from there. We'll they get we'll come get come surprise on them if we if they. I still have my bleed on that one. So with that done, let us swap to the people outside. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, people turn. outside. Now it's actually, actually now probably it's kind of good that we didn't know what's going on because we our characters don't. Can I? Found it very hard to concentrate on anything with two things happening in my right, ears. Right. Oh, shut a, up! Can you give me a little summary of what just happened? Oh, God. You've confused the me. The stealth now. team, which is these three, yes. snuck no, in no. to the house. Oh, I'm so, sorry, I can't listen sorry. while somebody else is talking. Yeah. The stealth team, these three, snuck into the house. They were looking for a hypothetical dungeon where the gnomes may be being held. What in found, instead they found was a mini gladiatorial arena inside the western side wing of the house. They found a uh, alien, uh, an old alien called a Great Old Master, which is basically a wolf spider with an eel head about the size of a draft horse. It's um, at the stage of its life cycle where younglings are going to burst free from its belly and consume it whole, and anybody else who happens to be in the area, they went down from the middle level, the mezzanine level of that combat arena, and investigated the um, holding cells where the keepers of the monsters, uh, not just this one, but previous ones which have been set against each other in gladiatorial combat, basically hold the monsters and have their food and stuff. So this is not so much a birthing chamber as a gladiatorial... That is correct. It is being used as a birthing chamber, but that is not its primary objective in its long history. That is correct. Now, basically, they can hear people approaching with a cart. They have ducked aside to hide. They are either going to be able to sneak past them or, at the very least, um, ambush them. Good day. Okay, so, outside. Yes, what's happening? Okay, so to recap for Johnny who's come in late, this is the property. Uh, you came in from this direction from the east, tethered your horses on the hill up here inside the, uh, um, the copse of trees at the top of the hill, came down, three of you went inside, the rest of you are outside lurking behind the, um, Stable. the stables, <laughs> and I think that's the gardener's shed. I can't for the life of me remember what that is. Um, <coughs> You have this area over here, which uh, you noticed earlier was um, recently mown lawn. Um, once these three... Oh. Now, wait a second. Just before they went inside, you were all up on the balcony here. The um, I remember running, yeah. running into that place. Do you? Uh, no, uh, uh, trying to be stealthy and... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you had to cross open round. So yes. yeah. we, we all did that, I think, yeah. 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 Um, mm. So you're all somewhere up here. Mm. So Just they're, on, they're on the first level balcony. You're on the balcony, yeah. yes. Yeah. So it's you're more like a porch. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and at that point, um, coming out of the um, darkening sky as sunset comes in, you see a uh, Neogi spaceship. Uh, it's called the Mind Spider. It's a comparatively small spaceship for um, uh, shuttle travel. It's certainly not the ginormous Neogi Death Spiders, which are their main fleet. So something comparatively <laughs> small comes down and lands there. What is your plan for doing stuff? Before when you say, sorry, yeah. just just before you make any actions, I think I should point out um, Neogi are a bit like mind flayers. They use sonics to rip people's brains, basically take over people's minds. Oh, that's they're exactly essentially like slavers. They are slavers. They have got um, a charm ability to enslave people. I wonder if I have a protection against that. What's um, what uh, feature do you have which? Uh, Makes you vulnerable or less vulnerable. What's the ah? What's that? That that's the thing. Um, their wisdom saves. So you say wisdom would seem likely to me. Um, okay, I'm I'm bugger all wisdom, so that's not going to help. I'm me. daft. You're <laughs> useless. Okay. I'm casting mage yeah. armor on myself in case that helps. Um, you probably should have had mage armor cast already. There it is. The stats there for Neogi um, in that little thing. It should have. Oh, no, that's a hatchling swarm. On no, the other page, uh, no, no, no. You'll need to take this take sheet out. out. Take it out, Dave. Take it out. Take it out, Dave. And take it out. Take it out. Take it over. Oh, I'll come God. upside down. Nope, it's not that either. Yeah, it is now, the Yogi Pirate. Now, there's, there's two of them. Now, don't use the Pirate. Use the other one. This should, down the bottom of the stat, have Enslave. Enslave. Uh, the Yogi target one creature can see within 30 feet of itself. The target <coughs> is... Succeed on a DC 14 wisdom save. Oh, hell no. Good call. 30 feet? Or be magically charmed for one day. Or until the Neogi dies or is more than a mile from the target. That's not hypnotism. That's a mind control ray. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, at this point, <laughs> the Games Master reveals how much he's cheating in your favour. Dave, yes. you have Mellifleur. I would like yes. you to go from there on the sheet which has the printout of the Twilight Domain. Um, no, it's still in the... Um, yeah, Twilight sheet. Domain. Yeah, no, there's a sheet, um, it's still in the plastic sleeve. How far is I've got a full printout. Yeah. So, I so yeah, invite you to I look under far. his um, yep. uh, yeah, cleric uh, thing. It uh, should be uh, Twilight Sanctuary. Twilight. Oh, so, yeah, Twilight Sanctuary, yeah. So yeah. DC what does it do? How long does it do it for? And how large an area does it take? Um, Twilight Sanctuary, at second level, you can use your channel divinity to refresh your allies with soothing twilight. Mm -hmm. I think it's the end effect that you're interested in. Uh, as an action, you present <coughs> your holy symbol and a sphere of twilight emanates from you. The sphere is centered on you, has a 30 foot radius, and is filled with dim light. The sphere moves with you and lasts one minute or until you are incapacitated or die. Whenever a creature, including you, ends its turn in the sphere, you can grant that creature one of these benefits. You grant temporary hit points equal to 1d6 plus your cleric level, or you end one effect on it, causing it to be charmed, confused, or frightened. For one so does that mean that I can game. end the mind flaying effect if somebody gets taken over? That's yes. certainly how I'm reading it. More to the point, it's not just one person, it's anybody Anyone within that sphere. 30 foot sphere. But it only lasts for a minute. Yes. 30 so foot sphere? Would... Yeah. So basically, if I walk in the middle and you don't go 30 foot from me, but it only lasts for a minute, so you'll we'll have to move quickly. So um, Now keep in mind how within... long combats usually ask in uh, real time. You will need to actually coordinate and figure out a plan. Yeah. Neogi Neo can, can only mind control you from within 30 foot. Yes. Now that's not a comfort if we meet them in a corridor. It is not. No, it's not. <laughs> that said, go back and play. There is also the Umberhold. Happy birthday! I'm your daddy. Yes. Because Umberhold. Happy birthday! The Neogi use as their personal bodyguards, yeah. man slaves, the Umberholds, and the Umberholds have a confusing gaze. Uh, I can I see their eyes. They I definitely do. I thought they just needed huge fists of thumping. Well, like, it, it, they oh, also yeah. have huge fists of thumping. Aren't they like eight foot tall? So or confusing gaze. When a creature starts its turn within thirty feet, 
bit of a recurring theme. Yeah, yeah. And he's able to see the Umber Hulk's eyes. The Umber Hulk can magically force it to make a DC 15 charisma saving throw unless the Umber Hulk is capacitated. Or suffer on a, ego death. On a failed saving throw, the creature can, can't take reactions until the start of its next turn and rolls a D8 to determine what it does during that turn. But they always have this ability? Yes. On a, maybe only in Spelljammer. No, 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 no. They yeah. go all the way back okay. to... On a edition, one to four, yeah, the creature does nothing. On a five or six, the creature takes no action but uses all the movement to move in a random direction. Oh, that'll be fun. On a seven or eight, the creature makes one melee attack against a random creature or it does nothing if no creature is within reach. <coughs> so presumably you don't move towards something to attack it. It's only mm. it's within range. Now, it's within reach. quick question. Yes, yes. My volley gun has 2d8 damage, 25 slash 60. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming 60 is the range that Maximum my volley gun range. Twi it's, yeah. I'd say 25 is short range and 60 So is. what I'm thinking yeah. here is Keep we probably don't forward. want to get close enough to be slaved. We well, want to be as in. a rule, no. As a rule, no. Especially considering you've only got um, weirdos. My firebolt goes out to 120 feet. Welcome. My chromatic bolt goes out to 90 feet. <laughs> my pistol has a range of 120. As a general rule of thumb, it would be the good idea to do ranged attacks. Um, because <coughs> you've only got one shot, although one a minute long, one shot of the um, Twilight Century. Okay. Or, as okay. long as they don't approach do, us and let us reload, we'll be fine. Do we really want to engage these sickos? No. That's the other, the other question I've got. We could let them just go as into a general the rule, We know where they're going. We, well, we, we, we don't go. actually need to take them on right no. now. We, we just need to find the guy. So and get if the we do the Heidi Whiteys right now and hope they don't see us, mm. let's try that first. Okay. okay. Now the other question I've got is, yes. stable. you said that it's yeah. a small ship. Mm -hmm. When you say small ship, what sort of complement are we looking I'd at? I've still cast mm -hmm. major armor. Oh, okay. uh, let me check. That lasts eight hours. Dink, dink. I'm pretty sure. See, the thing is, a small dink. ship can when, still when hold you get possessed yeah, um, the um, What would be great I for that? I think off the top of my head. <laughs> that we um, can't stop you. I need to check that, but <laughs> off the top of my head. We can't still catch. It should be a complement range of between 3 and 40, so an average of, three say, 18, 3 through to 40. So take an average of that, say, 18. Okay, so we're way out. We can assume... We could take out. 18 mind flame so weirdos yeah, with Umber Hulk attendance. Range. Oh. You can take them. <laughs> I don't need to, I... So if I'm you, running the hell away. I'm in the back. If you're under the thrall of the Nyogi, yes. you uh, you must obey the Nyogi's commands and can't take reactions. And you tele you communicate telepathically with said Nyogi through your command subjects. Um, at a distance of up to one mile. Okay. So but if you take gem damage, you can re-roll your saving throw. John, I just say so you no know about your pistol. So you should stab yourself. Right. I don't have a pistol, I have a polygon. You won't want to stab yourself. No, but you won't be able that to because unless it commands your you. Your first number, okay, is your weapon's normal range. So anything up to that. Once you go into your second number, mm -hmm. that's the long range of your weapon. You can't mm -hmm. shoot any further than that. Sure. But you take, once you go past your normal number, you take a roll of disadvantage. Up to ah, in that so you're all two in the <coughs> right. Okay. okay, okay, just that's, that's how range works. That's not too bad. No, but it's just you know, yeah. but he can't yeah. shoot past sixty so, or whatever it is. So my effective range is thirty. Sure, great. So that means my effective range is twenty, which is yeah, also great. great. It's well, pretty awesome. I've got an effective range of eighty. It's not the end. Oh no, no, it's what? It, yeah. What weapon is that? It's crossbow. Eighty slash something. Yeah, that's eighty slash three twenty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Anything sense. past that. So in this world, still bad. crossbows are, are can be superior to. Uh, yeah, but you'd well, probably, yeah, but you'd you'd probably do bus. more damage. It's too. basically a shotgun. Bl blunderbusses so, so aren't really it's, 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 it's not a yeah. rifle. It's a, a blunderbuss is the the definition of spraying a bunch of lead yeah. in over yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, it's actually not a blunderbuss. It's a volley gun. But mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the same sort of thing. Yeah, so. pretty much. Okay, I would suggest. It's a grape shot machine. 
I would suggest we hide. Let's do it. Because that's it. the kind of action However, heroes that we, we have. We have two sub teams here. So presumably we we lot outside are hiding near the mm-hmm. sheds. We, we don't need to hide. We have a building in front of us. Saxon Light, we we're, we're, we're hiding in the sheds. Like, am I permanently this big mecha sort of machine yes. thing? I don't, like, I'm not human and then I have to hulk myself up into this thing. No. Right? Not that sort of Warforged. What the hell is this? Warforged are constructs. Oh, this they're, is they're, 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 the, they're from the Eberron setting. They were basically made things yeah. for war. Okay. So you're I the, am, basically, I am, they're. I am Optimus Prime. What are, what are robots, basically? Yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. we should go quietly. <laughs> <laughs> so you fear nothing but them with torches. Do you have the, the guy with the tape deck in his chest? Because he's an annoying noisy. Are person. your favourite weapons flamethrowers? Yes. Sword in your arms? Because that won't, that won't disadvantage you at any point. <laughs> okay, so um, where precisely do you want to hide? Keep in mind Would they're it? coming over from here up. Like yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hide head. behind the stables yeah. or even yeah. in them. Okay, keep in mind these things here. You can't really tell, but they're trees and stuff. Um, yeah, we're not hiding in the trees. We're hiding behind the building. You're like, okay, I, you know, behind relative to where they're coming from. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yep, yep. Um, no, that's fine. Oh, okay. So you were over here when the stealth team went inside. You've seen these guys land. I'm going to assume you make a relatively quickly, uh, quick decision, um, quick hide. Splitting through the trees there that, uh, yes. and to make our way to behind the stables. That means you're My point behind. is you're not going to stand there staring at this thing until it's too late. As soon as you realise something is coming into land, even before you... <laughs> Even before you realise exactly what make of ship it is, you're hiding. Correct? So, so yes. So, so, Melif- perfect. so what, what, what are you saying? Hayden's been dead for years. That Melifleur can't hide with us? What's happening? Well, I am hiding. hiding. Good. He can hide, yes. If Look, Saxon, I'm hiding. If he gets in the stable, he'll be fine. <laughs> what what is the be? I'm huge, I think. I no, 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 it's, it's medium size. It's, oh, okay. it's, it's the upper end of medium size, but he's not into um, large oh, size. Okay. I'm not how's, like how's, how's, how's young guy Gex going? Who's a young no, no, Just use this guy as a miniature. Cranky old man. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then we'll be this fine. This is me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cranky old man. That's just pretty funny. Okay, so. Our cat's in a coma. Really? Yeah, but you don't like that cat, so we're not sure we can trust your no description. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, well, I'm hiding with them. Okay, yeah. so... Hang on, um, aren't, you, aren't you in the... the I'm both. I'm He's in both. Two worlds He's currently moment. running the NPC. one of the NPCs, oh, and right. I've got my own character with me. Mm-hmm. So I get to flip backwards and forwards at the moment. Yeah. This gets exciting. I mean, if we want to rotate oh, each session yeah. and have somebody else play the like NPC the, cleric, the that's Wolf fine. But yeah, at the moment, this is just... Grab me. Sounds maze pants. So it does. Maze. Yep. Okay, Maze-o. so. We are hiding. We are hiding. We are hiding. He says very quietly. Now, am I correct? We are hiding. <laughs> am I correct in remembering you did not get an actual description of the crime lord? Or do you actually know at least vaguely what he looks like? Isn't what is some fat? Fat? I have no idea. I have no crime idea. Lord. The crime lord. Ligonon. You've got his name. A uh, giant know. spider? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless he's dis- disguised very, very well. Okay. Somebody comes out with a um, with a bodyguard. It is a half-elf. He looks like he's um, sometime in his... Uh, Late fifties, early sixties, quite distinguished looking. Um, so, so it's only only baby as elves go. Uh, only well as elves go, but he's a half elf. So I mean, the, the lifespans are quite different. But yes, it, even for a half elf, that does make him look um, uh, quite young in comparative service uh, standards. Um, he comes out and stands on the edge of the balcony. Um, how many people come out? Okay. These guys are coming out of the ship, right? There are people coming no. out of the ship. They're coming out there of the house. Are... Oh, no, these guys are coming out of the house, aren't they? There are They're two the people. Balcony. There are yes. two humanoids who have come out of the house, and there are some oh. Niogi coming exactly. out of the ship. Right, so two lots of people are coming out. Yes. yes. Coming right. from different directions. Greeting their guests. Right. So you, yeah. the humanoid 
guys who aren't freakishly looking are coming out of the house, and are the freakishly looking ones are coming out. Are we in a position <laughs> where we can see what's yeah, going that's on? That's it. That's yeah. That's it. Yeah. So from the from the um, oh, stable, Jesus. can we see what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're we'll, we'll looking out here. You've got <laughs> a relatively good view of the whole arc ah, from, the front, from the from the back of the building there. Right. Through to the landing area. There. <laughs> Never mind me. I'm just a curious little thing. <laughs> how, do you, how do you form a partnership with that? <laughs> also, keep in mind, it <laughs> is just your after sunset. The sconces have been lit, so there is dappled light, and you've got a smattering of shrubs and trees along the edge here. Did we light them? Yes, you did. We did. We, we lit one scones because remember we took out the guy who was going to light the scones, and I then we kind of got this some, sort of like you better light the scones because I'll work out something's wrong. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So yes. they're met by a half elf and what else? And his bodyguard. Uh, I think it was the bodyguard that's human, if I'm remembering correctly. And so, so the Neogi were all coming out of the Neogi ship. Not that is correct. Yes. Not, not coming from the house. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're seeing this. Yes. Now. Do we the, have any indication that Meganon is a half elf? Um, well, that's what I was asking earlier. I, I don't think you've got no. a description of him, but you can see reasonably <coughs> well, even from this distance, that he's either an elf or a half elf. You would guess an elf. Um, you know, oh, perfect so jawline, lovely cheeks, beautiful. So he's not a half elf. He is a half elf. Yes. Oh. I think, but I mean, I you, you, your characters are a little bit far away to be a hundred percent. Oh, you were? Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, your characters are a little bit far away to be a hundred percent certain of that. I but take advantage of it. from this um, distance, yes, yeah. he looks like a half elf. Also, there is the fact that he has a bodyguard with him, so it would probably be pretty safe that he's the yeah, he's the yes, yeah, he's the top guy. Good now, this is happening the day now. Putting a layer the on The Neogi delegation, which is coming out if of I shift, can sleeve, contains one master Neogi riding on his Umber Hulk. <laughs> a... <laughs> Sorry. Gah. Well, yeah, basically, standing on his back going, this way, this so, way, my slaveling. So you get confused and mind zapped at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's a 30-yard 30, 30 radius, hit me. I never thought I'd write the sentence. The Master Neogi was riding on his... Master Neogi has been riding on them. his umper. Imagining this weird spider creature sitting up here on this yeah. hump of the back. That's right. Gang. Um... <laughs> On the ground following them are two other Neogi, and they are herding two gnomes in shackles. Oh. We're going to feed the gnomes to the... Two gnomes. Is, is Neogi the name of the, the traitor the... In, in, in that Karate Kid movie? Uh, Mr. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi, thank you. Not Neogi. I should think it was Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> wax on, wax on. Oh, yes. I was wax thinking on. the same thing. Wax off. I control your brain now. <laughs> now. Okay. Meanwhile. Um, okay. So, does that for us? Does that fact that there's the the, the herding the gnomes there uh -huh. that changes things a little for us? So we say Sorry. gnomes plural. There's plural. two gnomes. There are two plural. Yes. Now we the know Neogi we know that the gnomes. The Neogi bought the gnomes. We know yes. that we know the daughter's father. I know that's a weird way to say it, but that makes sense to me. Yeah. Is Miranda's. A She's a gnome. He's a gnome. Yes. Where'd the spare gnome come from? There's two spare gnomes. Hang on, both of these gnomes came from the ship? Both of these gnomes were taken off the Neogi ship as prisoners. They are in shackles. Yes. So yes. one of them's presumably her father. But, but it couldn't, couldn't be, because he was on the freighter we were following. Wasn't he? No. No. Miranda's father is a gentleman called Frobisher yeah. uh, Globecrafter. He invented a. Oh, he got kidnapped before we ever. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, that is right. We don't know where he is. We've been trying invented. to locate. So that yes. Yeah, so so, yeah, so it's one of I am I am reasonably confidently assuming one of them is the man, the gnome mm -hmm. we're after. Mm -hmm. Don't know where this spare gnome came from. Making a perception check, basically an intelligence I'm check. Not there. No, I'm there. I could do something, but I don't know whether it's. How did I go? No, 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 no. I well, 
the natural <laughs> 20. When you can reasonably infer that if Frobisher oh, was on an experimental ship and went missing, there are other crew members who sure. were on the ship. Sure. And that, I mean, that makes sense. Maybe yes. that maybe they're both valuable to understand. The rest the weren't engines. valuable, got eaten. Unfortunately, that's very plausible, but you don't know yet. <laughs> Fair to say, these are the gnomes we're looking for. Or at least a gnome we're looking for. And, and, a, and, and another gnome. We, well, we a gnome either. and another gnome. You had the element we, need a plan. <laughs> we need a plan of some sort. <laughs> right now, it's hiding behind the sheds. Is that nope. Time out. Is that I will let you discuss and start planning, and this will not in any way affect what's actually happening in-game. Scheme to your heart's content. I mean, yeah. So, so 18 things have come off the ship? Do we want to rescue them? So though? all 18 things have come off the ship? Well, you've well, you had nothing else. Last year, you had two of these underlings and an umber hulk. So how many remain on the ship, you do not know. But you can reasonably infer there must be more. good long range Possibly a lot. Right, Ray? Well, the only other thing we know is that our colleagues are in the building somewhere. We don't know. Searching for the guy who's No, I'm not thinking of like you're about to ask me. What thinking is. The bad guy. Being very quiet, Urban. What are you scheming? What do you know? So we're inside. Okay, well, I'm, I'm yes. starting with. Yeah, we know nothing. The main bad guy that we need to take <laughs> down. <laughs> Six weeks later, we're to still to looking. Go, 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 go. It's really quiet. Where's everyone so going off? There's one under Hulk. Well, one under Hulk, yep. Has only one under Hulk that brought us the ship. Only one under Hulk has departed any ship. But two. No. It could be another 18 guys, two, another 16 guys on this ship. One Master Neogi, two Standard Neogi, one Umber Hulk, no. and two Gnome Prisoners. Only one Umber Hulk. We can take So them. there can only be another 14 guys on this ship. Well, the thought I have is... Uh -huh. Okay, this is just a starting thought. Don't, don't just automatically go, okay, roll for initiative. But what I'm saying is, my immediate thought is, two, if we take down the guy on the... On the um, the leader the, 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 on the Hulk. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, my thought is that will cause enough chaos that we might have a chance. Yes. So my thought is if we can if we can aim every ranged weapon we have at him, we can't one shot him, but we can at least have a reasonable chance of taking him down. It would be can't better if the whole party was together. Though. Right now. No. What the hell? Is that? Yeah, we, maybe we, must we be should winning just follow. Capita, why, are, why are we so good? Sorry, Ray, we're saying maybe we should just follow them in the hope of meeting up with the others. If the other Nyagi aren't getting off the ship, yeah, it might be better if we hit them when they get inside the door. Also, it might be possible that they chain the um, the gnomes up into one of the old holding cells. Not that mm. we know about them. Also, um, the uh, the the Nyogi's, um I'm being a bit gamey here. Mm. The Nyogi's, um slaving power. Mm -hmm. Is that active or passive? So oh, you mean whether it has to be maintained or not? Um, not even that. I'm saying if we walk into the um, the range of the yeah. Oh, if he doesn't know we're there, there, can he automatically yeah. enslave us? Yeah, no, no. He has. They have to target. They have to target. Have to target, target yes, in a particular turn. Okay. So, so they're going to do one at a time. By comparison, I think. The Umber Hulks is also... The Umber Hulk is a bit different in that. Yes. With the Umber Hulk... They don't need to target because it's anybody within 30 feet. Whenever you are within 30 feet of an Umber Hulk, uh, you could be hypnotised by its freaky eyes. But only if you see his eyes. So if you put bandages over your head... If you carefully avert your eyes and you'd need to make a wisdom... In which case you're well, not going to make sure a wind or will shoot power. at said Umber Hulk. Yes. yes. If you kind of look down below the waist, but aim slightly out. Now, that'll mean you're slightly at disadvantage for shooting them, but it does mean if you're looking down the lower half, you can't see their eyes. We would look like we're very special people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, silly, silly of us. Um, yeah, if you're within 30 feet of an umber hulk, yeah, you've got a pretty decent chance of being zapped, boobled. So to answer your question, Jono, the Neogi ones have to target you. The Umber Hulks are. They can only enslave one of us at turn. 
and the Amber Hulk can only improve. Except there's multiple. How many Neogi are there? But the Amber Hulk can improve on multiple of us. Yeah, but only if we're within 30 feet. Well, I, th I think once you're inside, we're going to be within. That's why we're going to move the site to Wolf. <laughs> now, <laughs> She's getting ready for sure. Now, how many of these things are there? I know you told me that I don't. 18. One Lots master, two standard Neogi have exited. They have got one Umber Hulk body servant, plus the two known captives. So, oh, so it's only like three. There's, there's more on board. Yeah, there's sure. more on board, but yeah, at the moment there's only three plus. We don't want to attack from here because they'll be no. from the yeah. ship. Yes, they'll be able to no, see. No, we could do that. No, I think at the moment we stay hidden. We don't know where our colleagues are inside the building. That is correct. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm suggesting for the moment we observe. Presumably they will enter the munchies. building, and to be honest, we're going to have to follow. The and munchies, no. My feeling yeah, is, much babies, we will have to follow and try and find our colleagues. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be in. I don't see what else we can do. Mm -hmm. Secret of the drive, but we're going to we're going to avoid fighting the Yogi until we have to. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Having said that, if we encounter them inside the building, the chances they'll be within thirty feet are high. He wants Very to know high. what drive. What drive? What drive? Uh, because aren't the gnomes the nummies? Well, it's the drive. This this whole thing's about ship drive. Oh, right. Yes, the ship drive. Yes. The gnomes have the developed gnomes. a non-magical drive for their starships. Yes. Called pedal power. And if the dead magic zones are spreading in outer space, then a non-magical drive will be a important commodity. So the gnomes aren't going to be fed with the spider tech. Well, they might be, but not, but not, but the the at least the one that we're looking for is valuable, right? Unless they already have the secret of the drive, in which case they're expendable, and they're just going to feed it to the spider thing. Why didn't they do that already? Well, they are. Couldn't take it already. Presumably, the Niogi, the Niogi have kidnapped this guy, and they're only now delivering them to the crime lord. Presumably, mm -hmm. that's my first inclination. Yes. Yeah. I, I assumed the crime lord kidnapped him and they were coming to pick pick him up. Well, but it's the, the other way around. It's the other way around as far as I So are they think. working for the crime lord? Maybe. That would explain how they can you know, they have the they have a good ability to enslave people mm -hmm. and capture yes. them. Because they're slavers. So I'm going with that option. The confusing rounds. <laughs> anyway. So we will observe them for now. We are not okay. going to attack them. So how far because are then they'll know we exist. <laughs> uh, and we're going to avoid that happening for as long as possible. Yeah, let's not know that we exist. That's <laughs> okay. Each square on this map is 120 feet. We're far enough away that you probably can't actually make out what they're saying. Um, so yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah, no. I'm so wrong, you, wrong, you wrong. can see them making greeting um, things. They don't actually shake hands. Have um, your pledges, my lord. Yep, and yep, the yep. Uh, crime lord gestures for them to follow, and they walk inside. Well, what do they do when they move? Is there a technical <laughs> and phrase so. to describe spider movement? Do they stalk? I have no idea. Scuttle. Skitter. Skitter. I have nightmares about that, I think. <laughs> Good. good news is, the good news is, Will now I you and I. Yes. He's not urban. Now you and I can stealth along. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Mechano man and hippo pee person. <laughs> you what go, are your, you I, I only put down the passive perception numbers. What are your actual stills for Melifleur and um, the, uh, the bosun? Ironically, my stealth is actually not too bad. Yes, that was what I vaguely recall from last time. What is not too bad by your standards? He's got lots of well, dexterity for his guns. Yeah, so is mine. Mine's plus two as well. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Okay. Do you want to go see what's on the ship? See what they're left behind. Ooh. Yes, a whole lot of... Um, Ooh, a, whole, a whole lot of more no yogi. And yeah, some number holes. Can I say... At least 15. If they really? did... Mm. Yeah, they did yeah, well, they well they that's, that's the average that's compliment. A that's a real compliment. Oh, okay. All right, let's not go into that. The other thing about it is... If so there, there is something a, else. There is a little bit of a problem here. So if if we try and enter the building, we have to do it such that we are not observed from the spaceship that's parked in the yard. <laughs> that mm -hmm. sounds like there's a big guy here in D&D. &D. Uh, so, yes, spaceship uh, parked in the yard. 
So everyone remember where we passed. Maybe we don't. <laughs> maybe we don't enter by the French doors on the veranda. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I don't do, know do, do, what do, do, what do, what do, Has anybody got a grenade? We can, just, we can make our own doorway. Just, just run in and bluff your way. We are the performing our dodos. <laughs> I'm um, vacuum cleaner. The, the 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 games master has already hinted at how we can get in. How? Yeah. I already am. Yeah. So it's not my problem. The side passage. Side passage. The hidden passage. You mean this place has multiple entrances? How do, how do we know about the hidden passage? Yes, but th th that's not. Uh, they know about that. Well, we can't tell them. But yeah, but that you can. They oh, can't. Sorry, tell I them. thought it was one of the outside people who searched for it. We can't show them. Sorry, I don't think. Must have misunderstood. Okay. Um, no, no, no. I must have misunderstood. You haven't been told explicitly about the side passages, but you could make a reasonable inference about uh, tradesmen entrances. Kitchen entrances, etc., etc., etc. You have no idea Certainly, where they are. I, I think we could. So here's my proposal to the extent that I have one, right? Okay. This yeah. Large palatial places of all the one entrance. So, so we are here. We are hiding here-ish, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They are there-ish. Yeah. If we go la 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 through the front door, they'll they'll see they us. can see us. No, they've, they've already gone into the house. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no except the people, the people in the ship. Oh, yeah. Presumably, yeah. they've got. Yeah. You've got back doors here. You've got front doors Might here. See you know that there's some sort of entrance here for oh. the cart. But no, that's on a it's the best that's place. Level. Level. We've got lots of tree cover here. We can go yeah, in exactly. there without being seen. So if we go in here, if there's something we can enter through here or through there, which would be a, without a being observed from the ship, okay. we'll try and do that. Okay. Let me While just also not just being intercepted by the house help. Shame this is not Doctor Who because we can literally walk up the ramp of the spaceship and go, "Hello." <laughs> Oh my goodness, what are you all doing here? Would you like a jelly baby? <laughs> How interesting! <laughs> jelly baby? What is jelly yeah, baby? Exactly. Uh, I make him. a very good point. Kill him now. I will kill okay. him. <coughs> Get out of my way. Yeah, I like to when kill they him. come and try to attack me, I'll hold up a toothbrush and go, I wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> what is this weapon? It's moving too quickly to catch. <laughs> the mint it burns. The mint it burns. <laughs> Does it That's want weird. To play I only noodles? discovered that when the in the Does past it? month. Apparently, um, mint is actually evolved as a defence for the plant. Yeah. It's just that humans are really weird and like this. A lot That's of, true a lot of everything. A lot of herbs that provide like flavor that. to food are plant defences. This, like this, this has got yeah, this has got bugs bug spray in it. And what does Dave like? That? It doesn't. Have it bugs does. It does. Spray. And what you do is you go and you go. Oh, it gives my head a pleasant tingle. So you what? can tell from That's the what smell. caffeine is. Bug spray. Well, what, yeah, yeah, caffeine is. Too. Yeah. Caffeine is yeah. lethal to insects. Yeah. See, we're, we're learning things. Let me drink this. <laughs> yeah, but you see, you're a reason reason you get hundreds of sizes, so, times the size of it. Uh, you're hundreds of times the size of a bug. Oh, okay. And okay. for us, we and we also got much more complicated brains. And like I said, gives our heads a pleasant thing. Na so we'll nature never it. builds anything without a reason. And a hell of a lot of flavors, like flavonoids and things, oils and things that plants produce are to protect themselves. Anything, from anything eating. spicy. Yeah, and uh, we just extract that stuff and go nummy nums. <laughs> humans enjoy ingesting poisons. That's just what we do. <laughs> uh, this is why uh, humans are steak sauce oh, is a trope. Yes. Mm. Okay. So then, keep in that? mind you will need to be on your guard because we you are trying to get into a building which is going to have a number of servants. So, uh, yeah, be on That's the ready to, um, not to punch take. people and, and knock them uh, out. Preferably, preferably I, would, well, I, I would prefer not to come through the, the, the main entrance. Mm -hmm. If we can think of all the innocent maids, you could kill all the way. But then find a okay, side then, door or something. The question I would need to ask then or is, even how far around the building do you wish to scout uh, before you actually have to resort to the main entrance? Right. We can sneak around this, this so side, good. so we're we're covered. You know, we're protected open? from. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Find a window or something yeah, and, and see I if we can open. It. Okay. So yeah, I the the front door. Yeah. So yeah, just put yeah. the first window you can see. I have not considered like the shape of windows. Um. Bad shape. 
you know, those mm-hmm. sprite web shaped <laughs> web shaped <laughs> windows. Some yeah, perfectly ordinary windows, yeah, no bay windows and stuff. So yeah, um so you come to a series of windows. There's at least two on this wall. Um, oh, now this is a big question. What sort of breaking and entering would that be? Ah, yes, the vacuum. Anybody got a thief, thiefily type skills? No. I can't help you. I'm very, very stealthy for a gigantic several time hippo. Not as your strength I can force the window. The window. But well, yeah, you could yeah, always you do something tricky the, like, like turn the latch yeah, with a with tool. The, with, with either of us probably can something. easily remove the door off its hinges. Let's try not to. Throw me through the window. <laughs> sure, surely this has some sort of lockpicking skill somewhere. It's like, I'm sure it does, but I don't have If those. I'm remembering the description from the rogue class right up, um, we'll put that proficiency in do you know what? Do you know what I can do? Yeah. If we look through the window, mm-hmm. and if there's nobody there, yep. I can cast Misty Step, which surrounds me with silver mist and allows me to teleport up to thirty feet to a location that I can see. But I don't think you. Is it actually teleporting? Yep. Oh, yes. it is teleporting. Yep. Yes. And then oh, I can okay. open the window from the inside and let my friends. That will do nicely. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh hold up. Pause. When we were discussing uh, recharging of abilities way back at the start of this session, I had a note which I completely forgot to actually follow up on. Dave, have you factored in arcane recovery for getting some but not all of your spell slots back? I don't even know what any of that means. Okay. (laughs) Wizards normally get all of their spell slots back after a long rest, mm. but they also have a cheat called Arcane Recovery. If you do a short rest, you can gain a number of spell slots equal to half your experience level rounded up. So in your case, you would get two spell slots back. You can use that either as one second level spell or two first level spells, however you want. Well, the thing is, I don't have any any spells expended on here right now. You, you should have had at least some spells because you fought Yasha back in uh, session five. But how long ago was that in game time? Uh, less than half a day. Oh, I see. Oh, and you've only had uh, a short rest since then. I was going to say 2022. I think you did actually <laughs> use this. <laughs> Don't, step can't you remember back to 2022? No, no. no. What and and I haven't did. marked off that I've expended any slots. Oh, okay. And I okay. okay. It was only two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it... <laughs> The fact that I actually had to summarise the plot from that time rather than getting you people to actually dredge your memories indicates that I did not have um, the sadism to actually inflict that on you. So it's perfectly understandable that you can't remember. But nevertheless, you were in the fight with Yasha. You defeated everybody except you captured Carnegie. You used at least one charm person charm spell person on spell. Carnegie. Yeah. Have, yes. Then you had a short rest and then you uh, rented the horses and came here. So you've used up at least some slots, but you've also gained, as part of your arcane recovery during that short rest, two spell slots back. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to read through Ray's notes and it's not in there. Again. I don't know what that means for me. What does that mean for me? You get two extra okay, spell right. slots we'll to um, recover some of the spell yeah, slots. Yeah, but I don't have any expended. Let's notes and see whether Sackman's right about it. Let's just make a ruling on it. You didn't write it down. It okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. About his spell uh, do, 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 do. You have it in here. Oh, okay. You've got... Probably not. Okay, you've got all the spell slots back, no, no, except really for the one you used to the cast Mage Armor on yourself. Oh yes, of course. I tried to. I cast main jam on myself as well. Yes. And and (laughs) what about that charm person? You're saying charm person would have been before the short rest, so you probably regained. Okay. 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 So charm Persian only works on um, charm Persian. Xerxes Babylonians. Yes. Dudes from Miss Farm. I kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> okay, so you use nope. Misty Step and I've inside of use Misty Step and I've marked it off as an expended slot, so yep. I don't have that anymore. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah. What 
is it? A second level spell? It is a second level spell. Mm-hmm. Uh, his, turn, his turn door knob is yeah, a second or third off. level spell. Yeah. So That's a good question. Um, yes. Right. So, normally turn door knob would fall under the cantrip mage hand. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the answer to your question is it's a zero level. Anyway, so I've teleported to the other side of the window. Okay. Now, of course, I did look before I did this. Okay. And what <laughs> I, was, I, I was about look, to say... I couldn't do the spell. If you I couldn't do that. No, my point is, um, you may have teleported straight in without actually checking to see if there was anybody else in the room. No. But I'm going to assume... Yes, you've... I, I actually said that. So the mechanics exactly. Is yes. I said, I looked in my room and assuming you, I don't see anyone, mm-hmm. I will teleport in. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So you get in, no problem. Mm-hmm. You turn around and look at the latch. It is... Uh, it's moderately complicated, so you spend about a minute just filling with it to open it, and then Not you open, open and... You, you just open the door, you weirdo. I'm on the other Why side you going, fumbling you here? turn it the other way. It's not no, a door, the, it's a The window. other way. Turn, open the, the latch, it goes up, it doesn't go down, it goes... I don't know, he did, he made, he made me do we'll it. Oh, okay, I'm so glad I'm not there. <laughs> you just spend yeah, a minute such fiddling a with the latch. <laughs> it's done. A minute to open a window. Yeah, We're get, all screwed. Get through the window, you <laughs> know. We're all screwed. If it takes you a minute get to open the, a window. Get through the good? open window, clanky man. <laughs> I now smash the glass and walk in. <laughs> no <Thank> kill. <you>. Uh, <laughs> there's, just, there's just a silhouette of your body through the entire wall. <laughs> Are we going Warner Brothers cartoon smashing no, no, wall and no. leaving silhouette tropes all over the place? <laughs> Okay. Only, so, only when the bosun just <laughs> <laughs> good junk. Thank you, Albion. Yeah. Okay. You, you find yourself wizard. in a drawing room. It will have yeah, lovely wizards that come uh, the uh, morning because it faces east. Thanks. What are you doing? Um, we have no idea <laughs> why we're here. where we're going. <laughs> Excellent. So, when you are come up down with here, us. Go on. we know we're here. Yeah. We know they entered in what there, uh, probably somewhere around about here. Presumably, if there's any exits from the room in this direction, we will go through one of those. There appears to opening the door very carefully. There is a corridor which runs down the middle of the house. Oh, it's a central thoroughfare. Yeah. No people. way you'll meet people here. I, I will knock a servant unconscious and wear his uniform. I thought you were going to say his <laughs> no wear one, his skin no, upon no, my face. No one will notice. I have disguise. Um, okay. <laughs> I just got this picture of you in a, in a little French maid outfit. Why is your face falling off? No, it no, is not. no. <laughs> Make a bluff roll. Okay, so everybody <laughs> in oh the non stealth team, make a stealth roll. Oh, we okay. are the non-stealth team of non-stealth. <laughs> now remember, if half the party succeeds, you're gonna love this. All the party. Succeeds. I just rolled the stealth roll of a of a, of a of a lifetime. I just rolled eighteen. Cool. I've got to succeed. Is that a total of eighteen? Nine. Is that a two? No, it's a nine. I got nine. I got fifteen. Dice made okay. Ten. Dying Only half it. the party needs to succeed. Do you have any yes. inspiration yes. points that you can use to yeah, make this better? Late. Eleven counts, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm using it. Uh, yeah. Oh, isn't it? Don't we? Didn't we make a ruling when we do group stuff? It's like basically. Oh yeah, if the majority succeeds. Yes. If the majority yes. succeeds. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Swing for the last. <laughs> No, I, no, no, I had an idea. The Perhaps the majority of six. <laughs> Not just we made it. Up. <laughs> exactly. Well, I was saying <laughs> only half of us need to succeed. What were you my world? Right? Don't don't do this. No, fine. Okay. What was your role, uh, Ray? <laughs> Eleven. Okay, cool. That's what you so you mean? sneak. Let me roll for competition. It's when you no. made me roll technique. <laughs> I love the fact that nobody noticed a gigantic hippo sneaking in. Mainly <laughs> Nobody expects a gigantic No, you roll like this. Man, that's a really quiet gigantic hippo. 19, hip-hop. see? Manly roll. Okay. <laughs> Where that's a re-roll because you're a loser. 
No. I think any ro- everyone any knows you roll like this. Any ro- <laughs> you can hear no, no, people talking like up Wait ahead, um, but the distance and a closed door within the way means you can't actually make out what they're saying. You hear Charlie Brown's school teacher. <laughs> can we can we discern whether it's the group that we saw enter? If Certainly, the, the some of the voices are crying, making noises, oh, so oh, you oh, can oh, reasonably insert the yes, the the nasty the the That may be a stereotype. You may be assuming that somebody talking like that is a yogi, but it's a reasonable Saxon. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a fat. I'm being speechless. That's just racist saying they speak like that. Why have you made them? No, I'm not going to say. What? I have already decided... See? I knew you'd go there. I have already decided that the speech patterns of the Neo-Yi Master are like this. I mean, they presumably, because they're psycho, they presumably don't have... Psycho? Psychic. They presumably don't need to use speech to communicate amongst themselves, typically. To communicate through like a non-verbal. Certainly, um, with anybody they've enslaved, they can use telepathy. I don't recall off the top of my head if they actually communicate telepathy with each other. Telepathically. Okay. Whatever. That said, that is an interesting idea. Okay, thank you. I will work that in. Yay. Oh, God, they're spellcasters as well. What, all of them? No. Well, the Void Hunters are. Yeah, uh, they can make Warlock Pacts um, and get spellcasting like that. Okay, so um, you can hear them up ahead uh, through a closed door further down the corridor. What are you doing? Now? Good God, I don't know. What do we do now? We're trying to okay. find our friends more than we are trying to find them. Well, also, do they, they, they come toward us? Yeah, no, no, they gave the perception roll. Have, have, you, have you seen our friends? <laughs> Hello. We're <laughs> lost. Have you seen our friends? <laughs> Down towards the lot. They're in alphabetical order. Perceptions and skills. 11. Yep, that's fine. Yep, made a bow Okay, yes, they're moving away further down the corridor. Oh, thank you. Okay, we, we, we try and follow them, mm-hmm. keeping a closed door between us and them. Okay, so Scooby moving through the door for the second part of the corridor, make another stealth roll. Oh, yeah, another stealth roll. Another so, so when we... When Hang on, who's making the stealth roll now? All the people who are non stealth. So that's how does this inspiration point to be? A roll by, um, you get advantage, so roll 2d20. So, do I have to declare it before I roll? Yes, you you have to. If you want to use your inspiration, you just roll with advantage. You can't roll one dice and then go, I'll use advantage. You are doomed. doomed. You are doomed. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm just going to. Well, I only got eight, so I reckon I failed. So if that makes you decide what you want to do, I'll just do it. You are doomed. You are doomed. still a song which you can do. the bars of the. I got a total of 10. Okay, that makes it. What does Jono and Ray roll? I rolled 16. Oh! Okay, cool. That's at least half. Ray, have 11. Okay, so majority three. majority succeeded. Yes. What about Urban? Okay. Are we not? No, no, no. Urban's not there. No, we're not there. Urban is on the stealth team. He's he's stealth. You're downstairs in the dungeon with the with the monster. You're Mister Bobo. You're Professor Bobo. You're with Kitty <coughs> Cat Man Bobo. and the other freak. Now, as you carefully about, open the mean? door and look down the corridor, you see uh, the Prime Lord and his Neogi guests go in through the door. You don't know this, but the players will. The door which they have already entered into the um, little amphitheatre. Okay, we're these uh, idiots. That is good. <laughs> we will now cut to these idiots. What <laughs> are you planning on doing? Well, You're hiding okay, so inside the office. Yes, so and a card is coming past. Yes, we'll that is correct. Yes. So those guys haven't come through the door yet, I imagine. They have Ooh, not come through. Eat. They've come down. They are here. Some of it comes out of this. As you actually make a perception check to listen through the door, unless you're actually peering out through the keyhole or around a half perception. a jar door. What do you wish to do? That's persuasion. Where's perception? There it is. What's a weather? I got eleven. Couple of days. More than me. 
Uh, perception, 18. I thought you had really good perception. No problem. I got really they good bring up. the cart down to here, yep. and they begin hauling off carcasses and putting them on the yeah. hooks here. On, they, on the meat hooks? On the meat hooks, right. yes. They are talking about how they need to prepare uh, food for uh, their current guest. Um, and you can tell by the way they pronounce guest, that's in the air quotes, um, because um, they're expecting... Yes, they are expecting um, the, the, uh, the master and his guests, the, the Niyogi guests, to turn up any time soon. Um, oh, it's water there. What did you think it was? It sounded like well, water running. Yeah. 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 Now, you're, you are about five to ten minutes ahead of the events of the outside team. So it's not as though you're going to actually meet up literally face to face, unless um, they're, they're going to. Uh, so they're hanging up food, and then they're going to uh, take stuff and put it out there. What do you actually want to do? Um, oh, hold on a second. So what, I didn't tell you that you uh, found. Um, t- Ten gold pieces in the office, did I? No, no, no. Oh, we would love that. Unless yeah, we no, kill no, each other for I, I, I am obviously dreadful at multitasking. Yes, yes. Among, amongst the various papers, you what? do find ten gold pieces. No. What? Do, do, we have do they have what? blue on them? No. Do Should I compare my blade? Do we have party stash anyway? Mister Kitty Cat does stash? not trust I me. I honestly do program? not know who is running party stash. What it's else a blame. <laughs> What else have we been? What else have we been given? <laughs> like I want to know what she. Give us more, Saxon. Pressure, have, pressure. No, but like, what do we have? I have no idea. I don't I've got lots of books. I wouldn't get too fast about ten gold pieces. <laughs> just two of you and me. One, two of you. If we share it amongst ourselves, we'd have to share it with everyone else. <laughs> Oh. Leaving the one extra gold piece to fight over. Alright, I'm just putting the ten gold pieces down. Okay, there. fair enough then. I have assassinate. What can I spend that on? Assassin? That's not currency. What species yes, it is. are they, these people with the car? Want to drink um, assassinate a barman? Uh, one is a. Uh, okay. There were three people. Two of them would be human, one would be a half orc. Ah, uh, what is that? I just have to stab them with my sword of Wait. sleepy time. Hang on. With the shrimp. Hang on. And I'll shoot them. Up to you, sleepy time. Excellent. That you will make sure. <clears throat> what do you my, have to shoot you, them? You don't, uh, you don't mind. Uh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You don't mind killing people, do you? <laughs> if we had to. You don't mind killing people, do you? No. If we had to. No. If we no. had to. No. If, you, if you are... All right, I come out. That's Hello. That's a loaded question. question. Oh, I'm sorry. I've I've wandered into the wrong character. section. That's it. Is no I'm sorry. Okay, okay. make a um, what skill exactly. would it be for? I oh. am going persuasion, to use, I believe. Yes, yes. I'm charisma. Persuasion. Which you, which as a bard you have up the wazoo. What are you doing? Getting information from who? Events. The card pullers. So you said you didn't mind killing them if we had to. Why not talk to them? We've got like five minutes. Okay. Oh we're just stepping out and talking to them. Hey? We're just stepping out and yep. talking to them. He stepped 17. out to talk to them. Good, 17. Yeah, let me just quickly check there. I'm staying <laughs> hidden so I can sneak up behind them. I'm by okay. Professor Bobo. Can I still sneak up behind them? He's my mentor. In the, in the how this is working. No problem. Show me they where look we are, what's going kind on. of shocked yeah. and more than a bit annoyed that somebody has come Show down me here. Where we are. You shouldn't be down here. The guests I, should be upstairs. I'm so sorry. Um, where are we? But I, I, I wandered in office. one of the doors and, where are they? and there, just they found here? my way down so here, but I was yeah, just looking just for there. the so viewing platform. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be locked. It's up this way. Um... And he, ah, so one of them starts to lead you up here while the other. I'm intrigued. What um, what, what are you preparing? I noticed you hung something up. It's just food for the monster over in the um pit. 
Ah, uh, yes, the monster. Um, where did you where did you get that from? Can we speak about the monster? It was brought right here now? by uh, the Miyogi. I think it's um, difficult. Uh, one's facing Master one Ligodon, one's facing he's, um, uh, he's, he's got guests yeah. coming yeah. and uh, they followed they him. They simply brought one of their oldsters here true. for um, for giving birth. I've got a cut to me. Master Ligodon. Yes, Master <laughs> Ligodon. Yes, um, sorry, I keep making the wrong pronunciation. Is on what you just three bombs in a three of them. Yeah, two humans and an elf. Yeah, no, there's only two of them. No, there's two, there's 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 two guys that go on the car. Yeah, Ligodon. I thought there were two humans and an elf. No, Master. they're upstairs. We haven't okay. encountered them. Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on. Down here. <laughs> The, there are three what people are down in the dungeon find? level with you who were brought in the cart. Yes. Two humans and an elf. Oh, two humans and an elf. Yes. <laughs> sorry, and a half elf. My, sorry. I did Mark oh, elf. Sorry. Half elf. So, so there's the two same, and a half these, these aren't the same guy. No, they're not the same guy. They're different ones. I thought there was only two people, but there's three people. There are three people. They are simply workers um, and they take care of the monster pits. Yes. We bonk them and throw them into the monster. Beanie no, bag. Think people will notice. Not <laughs> if the great old master noms them fast enough. Is he currently being eaten by his babies? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, he's, he's got tummy grumbles, but he's still alive. Yes. You can hear him bellowing in pain through the doors over in the pit. Oh my goodness. So are, they, are the three the people facing away from us now? Yes. Talking to yes. Let's get some information. Um, two of them are continuing to take hey. um, uh, oh, carcasses off the cart yeah, and hold them up, but yeah. they are all facing Let's away from you in one way or the other. No, I'm just still. still. My still's fantastic. All three of you have got still up the wazoo. That's why we sent you guys in first to the monster. That's not how it is. Oh, we could get interest, maybe. We're not eating them. The monster is eating them. <laughs> Why would we put the interest, though? The interest? We're, 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 lending, we're lending them, them to, to the, the monster. monster. The so monster. when he pays us back, he should pay us back with interest. Yes, what, what are you lending to the monster? The three guys outside. <laughs> <laughs> so how People. Do you, have you made your decision? I'd say no. All oh, right. Because no. this is madness and insanity. <laughs> okay, no. No, no, we just want information out of these. Let him talk to them yeah. before you murder them all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were the best. Look, they are, but maybe they can help us. Currently, they're confused. Yeah. But they're buying my story. So Confusion maybe is not an evil yeah. alignment. The guy who's talking to you Confusion. and is subtly stepping over Confusion. towards Confusion. the stairs in a kind of subconscious attempt to lead you away wasn't a Hitler secretary? is um is going look I know Perfect. that sometimes the master has a surprise for what type of monsters are down in the arena yes but we really shouldn't be giving away information people shouldn't be down here looking in so look if you could just go upstairs maybe have some of the canapes um on go up and have some canapes canapes sorry no, can I horse do this? Horse do this. Horse do this. They're very fancy things upstairs. What are you doing here? What are you doing? What does it look like? That's what you do. Go away. But I'm the Lord. Just hold up your guitar and say you're in the bed. Never crashed an art gallery party before. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a six. There is a thump behind you and cursing from one of the two people who are hanging up the carcasses. They've accidentally dropped one on the ground and it's landed on his foot. Oh, I'll go over and help you. I'll rush over to help. Oh, okay, thank you, but no, no, no. You're no, no, let me hang it up. Okay. Make, make, a, help, make a strength roll. Is the other guy is will. Um, accent? Between the two of you, make a strength <laughs> roll. No, let me help you out. Okay. Um, I don't want her to sit in the chair. Yep. All right. Uh, I will roll. What did I roll there? Six. 
17. 17 plus it'll be plus something. Hang on, do, 17 so, plus. So do you now work for the bear? Well, I think I do. <laughs> Are you getting a wage? Yep, he's going to be one of the old He's yeah, merely he's being helpful in the... now as well. <laughs> he is <laughs> merely <laughs> being helpful in attempt to carry favour. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so you made a strength roll? 17. Okay, between the two of you, you um, re um, First chance, hook up the carpet onto the hook. We yep. run up the stairs and start eating um, naps. <laughs> my goodness, that was really heavy. Right, you you feel like very strong. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, you, you work out a lot with all of this. Yeah. <laughs> now, come on, tell me, between the two of us, what's in there? Are you there making the carpet look <laughs> It's what? a type of Miyogi who's at the end of his life. They give birth at the end of his life. So, basically, a pregnant oldster from the Miyogi race. Uh, the, the, you know, the wolf spider, the, the spider wolf? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, it's going to be fascinating. Well, I, I'm, I'm purely want to, you know, I'm here to, to watch this from a scientific point of view, but for the others, I, uh, I don't know. You've got why. friends coming to serve me. Yeah. He's a bar. Yes. He's a liar. Oh, <laughs> he's about the why they, the they might be here. And if this happens a lot, where people come and watch these sort of things. Sometimes it's simply straight gladiatorial <laughs> matches. In this case, it's simply a birthing ceremony. It's something different. It's cool. I am the meat king. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I can't mentally communicate with the rest of the team. <laughs> but I've distracted <laughs> these guys distracted. enough. If you wanted to fucking sneak off somewhere, <laughs> maybe now would be a good time to maybe continue back down that freaking path. Leaving you Yes, to don't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. I'm He's working for this guy now. He's... He's trying to steal all the canaps. That's right. I'm about to be eating some canap. Piss off down the hallway. I've got no, no, these no, up, guys. up the incline, up to um, yes. the, the outside area. Now we go. know you're a bard, so we're very worried about you. God. And we're going to stay in the Patreon. <laughs> we're staying in the why would I just drink? Because we you can guys? hear you talking. <laughs> because you know what they were going to do? They were going to dump this shit and walk back down that way. And if now I they're them not. All you're stuff the here, you could go down that way while I have them focused on what I'm doing. Piss off! Can we abandon him? Yeah, let's Was this the plan? Because I can't remember exactly what the plan was when he said, Bye, I'm going to go and do it. No, he just walked out the room and didn't say a word. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. He gave the signal, though. He did. Yeah, he did the signal. Come on, you doofuses, do something. <laughs> Let's come in, come in. I'm going to take an intelligence test for this because I never got told anything. <laughs> you only okay. ever do what you're told. Well, I got eight, so I think I'm too stupid to think of this. What did you Why get? do we want to run away? Take I don't know. I got eight. What did you get? For intelligence? Yeah. Oh, don't go there. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on a second. Where is this? Oh, no. We never... We never... We never... <laughs> Why didn't we just kill them? <laughs> Should so, we kill them? Okay. We won't kill them. So... Such questions. I, I deliberately haven't told them about you, so when you guys you just suddenly appear... <laughs> When you guys suddenly appear, what are you going to say? Hello! Why are we, we appearing? Why are we just hiding no in here? What if they come in there? Then we will then we'll kill them. <laughs> I... What are you Why did you walk out without a plan? I had a plan. <laughs> we didn't have a plan. We didn't have time. We didn't have time. No we didn't have time. <laughs> There's always time. If I have to explain flag. something to you all the time, <laughs> then we do. Then we, what then am we I? Do it <laughs> a fucking Neogi that yes. Yes. manipulates your mind and <laughs> tells you what to do? Isn't that precisely what you're trying to do right now? <laughs> See, it's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, well, shall we just leave? I'm going. Okay, I'm going to have another it's, intelligence test. Yeah, no, I'm just it's leaving there. Is this it's just, even worse, so I'll just follow you. Is this just for you something. or your character that you're making this intelligence test for? My character, of course. <laughs> the player knows what's going on. The character doesn't. <laughs> okay. Somebody will make a stealth roll. Telling anyone. 
I don't think they're going anywhere, Zach. No, no. I might go up and eat the canapes. And make <laughs> some excuse upstairs. I've got 14. That's more than enough. Wait till I Urban. run into the <laughs> stealth roller. Doopy, 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 doopy. Doopy, doopy, and doopy, 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 doopy. Nine. He's a climate radical. He wants to find a special out echo. Fuels, according to yeah. the RNC. Oh, so, hmm? yeah, don't you plus six onto do. that or something? No, they are all three. Oh, okay. Sort of fun no, but 50% of the party succeeded. Therefore, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the others are distracted. Because so we're a party of two now. So just I'm glad so we're not meeting the party. Up the, um, <laughs> but we can still play into two separate groups. I can just walk off without telling you. So question. <laughs> Have you persuaded these guys to go off and do anything? Yes, he's persuaded us to do nothing. They are sneaking up the nothing. ramp, even as we speak. Are we going up the ramp? I thought we were going down this way. Is this up the ramp? Yeah, I put oh. the, 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 okay. the in the wrong direction. I'm sorry. That's up the ramp to ground level up here. No, that's that's no. my... Um, we are here. With Kath, oh Lake, God, Trent... He's, he's oh, it was just so hideously so appropriate for your school teacher. Like okay. Good on <clears throat> Okay, so um, Maynard and Professor Barbo have snuck up the inclined ramps up to outside at ground level. Do I, I, I never, I'm kind of position myself so I can see them go while I've got the air. Yeah, okay, so I, I wait, I, I keep on wax-lyricling with them until I see them disappear. Okay. I have a giant so so do you want to go with him or you want to find catch the other here. Well, what do you want to do once you know that they're gone? Are you going to go upstairs? Are you going to stay here as they begin oh, to chop up and prepare food and take them into the great old house? I'm waiting to hear it. Seems like a good choice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. Okay. This is genius. It is genius. It's quite yeah, it's it like a genius. sweeping maneuver. It is. Oh my yeah. god. We've come from two different drinks. Okay. As you <laughs> over here. It's coming to you here in China. Jesus. Um now uh, this character's <laughs> passive perception <laughs> is sixteen according to this. So as you go over, you do notice a weapon is covered here. Um Oh, They've got some, the, the, the monster holders have um, some nets, including one net which is marked uh, as being magical, and there is a pain stick, a staff, which can be used as a pain staff, um, which is, um, obviously they have trouble sometimes with the monsters and they need to... Um, Keep them subdued. How, how big is it? Is it like a 10 foot pole? Is it what? what how, how big is it? Ah, a handy stick. I will use this to walk now. And like with an electric charge on it or something. It's not electrical, it's magical. Uh, magical, magical charge. Magical electrical non stick charge. Stick. Sting stick. And a magical net. And a magical deck. Yes. You will have net. magical net. Not neck. <laughs> net. <laughs> magical neck. <laughs> The amazing magical net. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Pain <laughs> staff uh, can be wielded as a magic quarter staff <laughs> and grants a plus one bonus to attack and just damage rolls. It has TV nine show. charges. <laughs> um, for each charge you expend, the target must make a TC 17 <laughs> constitution save or be and becomes incapacitated with excruciating pain for one minute. Jesus, could you so it's, it's magical rather than electrical, but uh, yeah. So this is part of the way that they would, uh, keep the monsters under control. He would the witch by the second <clears throat> episode and create himself Emperor of the Island. Yeah, and the and the net, could I blow anything off that? The net, the net, the net, the net, the net, um, instead of the boy. Net of what do you mean It's exactly what he would do. A size by large episode, or smaller creature is restrained until free DC 10 strength checks to break free. Uh, plus Ooh, three bonus serious. two attack rolls. What, what's happening? What are you doing? I found a pain stick and a net. <laughs> you, he spotted them. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were attacking someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is simply something that you can you, you see as you go past the entrance into the amphitheater proper. Uh, you make a mental note of it. It might be something that you want to. Um, Use later on Where when the inevitable hell? fight scene starts. Yeah, I'll, uh, I might grab those. Uh, that's uh, I think they'll come in handy. These will come in handy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right now or later? <laughs> For later. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. okay, so keep in mind where they are. Um, no, actually, no, the, 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 the monster handlers I think, um, I think, I think there's a confusion begin here. to yeah, bring the, 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 the meat no, over. Can, no, I want to see, can I take them? Uh, just Not right now, because oh, okay. the monster handlers are coming over oh, with meat. Yeah. Yes. One of them actually picks up the staff and arms himself with it. Um, yes. Another one grabs, just odds or evens, Evans, uh, he actually grabs the mundane net. They open up the door, making sure that the Neogi isn't actually leaning over towards it. Now, keep in mind... Isn't it dead? No, no not dead. It's still, it's still it arriving. It does keep in mind, it has... Evenings. In its condition, it's basically got only five foot of movement. It, it, it's almost incapacitated. But nevertheless, they That's throw right. in some great big chunks of meat are quite large amounts considering it's got a quite large size now um, and then they close the door um, so it's fed um, they seem quite happy that they managed to feed it in preparation for the little soiree that Liganon and his um, his Neogi guests uh, will be coming in within the next what 15 minutes to 45 30, minutes 30 seconds oh, okay. Neogi, okay. they're coming to see another yeah, Neogi right. Give birth. Yes. They probably do this all the time. It's just for some reason they're doing it in this guy's place. Hmm. Maybe it's more tasteful that way. Maybe it's like a rite of passage or something. It's like it's this is a good thing for them to watch. I just want to see how many okay. naps you can eat before everyone does. <laughs> With that regard, make another law check for Neogi um, uh, life cycle and um, uh, social structure. Ah, uh, four. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> uh, four, six. No, that's, that's doesn't even make the various skill levels. There is a reason why they, they do it normally. Um, it doesn't directly relate to why they're doing it here now, but okay. there is a reason. All right, that's okay. I'll, um, I'll live Okay. Um... <laughs> Now, you're so have, they, have those what handlers gone? Have they, uh, they, those those handlers 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 handlers. Handlers. I know. So he's taken Why the pain stick with this? him? He's put it back in the little cupboard beside the, the, the door. Oh, so now I can take the pain stick and the magical net. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. wants to make a smith of The magical net. He, of course, might be slightly suspicious if it suddenly disappears. I presume you're going to take care of that later. Okay. So, with that at some point, the jig will be up. Yeah, yeah. Real soon now. Real soon. Okay. Now. You two, <laughs> Peter, Herman, you have exited out onto the western side of the house. Cool, man. <laughs> <Harry. laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> there is a giant. Is that the inside? What the fuck is the inside? There is a travel. There is a. Quick, escape now. Why are you. We should, just, we should just go back to the horses and ride away. You emerge onto a gravel driveway on the western side oh, of the house. God, there, gravel. Beside You're going to get spotted by the Neogi sheep. Now you can see the ship. You're just jealous that you won't have all this no, great gravel. Not with this those side. two trees in the way. Exactly. You can skulk about. The more the point, there is also the kitchen entrance beside the... Um, oh, we could just go back the way we came. Now you know the Neogi ship. How many floors Okay, you've got the below ground thing, the dungeon where the monster holders are. And you've got two levels uh, above ground. And where did they send him to have hors d'oeuvres? We can't okay. go back the way we came because those idiots are going to be coming up that way. I can climb up the side of the house and I can go in a window. I can there. follow you. Because okay. I'm Mr. Dexter. That's why then they said he's to go upstairs? Yes. Will the Neogi see us if we He'll climb be up going the side upstairs the from the basement level, which is down here, up one level to ground level of the house. But then there's another level up. And there's another level beyond that, which would probably be the private apartment. Once we get up the there, we have to work out how to get down again. Mm -hmm. What do we do? This is the dopiest bit. <laughs> I'm like... I don't know. Baby, That's exactly baby, right. Baby. I don't know. <laughs> Why are we here we're again? 
What are you trying to stop? Yes, but why are you being trying to stop the bad guys? Yes, but why are you? Why are we here? Can I please? Gentlemen, we're coming up on nine thirty. I would like you to to come up with a plan of what you're going to do. My plan was to not do this. We were. Perception. Professor Bobo notices the Neogi ship. No, we didn't. But on the uh, Peter <laughs> does not. I do not lot. You don't see your the perce- massive ship. Your passive perception is only eight. You do not notice oh the massive God. ship through the trees. The trees are in the way. The Professor Bobo does go. Uh, Bobo, holy crap, where be. did that come from? Holy crap, where did that come from? What? Where? Why? What, what is it? I take you ever gently, move your head move you around. Can see the thing there. If only I had cat like perception, I could see this. Yes, it's a giant ship of doom. Right. Excellent. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? You're you in have charge. To the gnome. Climb the building. Why am I in charge? Because I'm not I, in charge. I rolled in. Why don't I climb up? Because I can see windows. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. that would, that would I will I'm going to climb up no. and I'm going to sneakily no. look through the window and okay. see okay. what I can see. Do you okay. want to stay here and I'll signal you? Maybe. Okay. And then I will climb up after you if you signal me to come up. Yes. 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 That's fine. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. a plan. That's how you do it. <laughs> Instead of wandering off. Now, what level are you on? The ground level or the first level? Well, we're on ground level because we're not the ground. Yes, yes. Why do you not but so are you going, going to look through well, windows on ground level or look through windows on the first level? That's a little I'm going to climb up and that'll be. then I'll be on the second story. Yep, yep. It doesn't go any further than that. No. Will the Neogi right. so see him? There are a couple of, of interesting windows. looking turrets, but they can't Will the Neogi see him climbing up? <gasps> I Probably not. Probably not. Okay. What a, what a social. All right. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. The two walls. Yeah. <laughs> love him, All right. I've got 11. The He's climbing up. up. He's all photo of him. No. He has a lot of things. I failed. To fall down. No, no, no. No. Oh, oh no no you've climbed up there you can't see anything through you can't see any down to the and university not a school oh, the are some of them are some of them are <laughs> what are the the rooms are empty next thing they're, yeah they're empty you see bedrooms um, there's a library um, uh, there's a garter rug um, but come down there's nothing here shall we sneak around here and come on find the gnome we should go to the front door find the gnome have you checked the garden yes we should go check the garden I had an idea. Hang on, I better take an intelligence test. Oh, I got brilliant. I'm so brilliant, I think that's a stupid idea. I have no idea where that idea came from. All right, from. we'll start looking through the window. Yes. Okay. Which side? Are there any doors here? It's yes, a, there's a, yes, that's, the front. that's the front. That's the front. There'll be massive doors. Yes. I mean, poor to tell everything. Probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do we see people? people? I didn't yeah, talk there, about there my free Yes. Um, there, there's only... <clears throat> There's only one. So we've got a sneak. Yeah? Yep, yep. Oh, no one will see us. <laughs> hey, I better do something. 13. No 20. No problem. I succeeded yeah. 50%. You sneak. You sneak. You so we can sneak and look through windows here. Yep, yep. yep. You do but see that. as you look through the windows, oh, yeah. uh, there is. You'd think they would be prepared for that. Dimension. There is a room. A door on the other side open to the internal corridor. You see uh, some of the Neogi with their gnome captors briefly walking past. It's kind of out of the corner of your eye, and you almost doubt that you saw it. But yeah, you definitely see something go past that looks like gnomes in chambers. 
<clears throat> dun, 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 dun. But not in the room. In the hallway, the hallway. beyond the room. Yes. Beyond Should we go in this room and then... Yes. How do we break can in? Can I break open the... Can I I'll open the window with my... What do we... Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I think it's slow. I have, a, I have a plus two. What do you have? For slide of hand? Yeah. Four. Okay, off you go then. Is it a living room? That's uh, good. Fifteen! Yeah! Oh, that's pretty common in these two. Okay, you Got find a, uh, a little piece of stick, jam it under the sash, wiggle it a bit. Yeah. Did you actually see um, the other day? So you're it's inside, yeah, open the window, you sneak inside. All right, he actually said that. And then we look through the door to see whether we can see the other okay. day. So they've um, you yeah, they've walked further no, down no, the corridor. At this point, emphatic, but he definitely said it. <coughs> there is a sound. They've gone down the corridor this way towards what you that. know is yeah, this right. area. Yeah. And suddenly, the there is a sound coming from the this way. Deception check. I heard, I heard that on Russian Nini Monta. Nini, which is fine because it's not RT right. today. Russia today. Well, it's a commentary. Somebody it's comes a up behind you. There's a door in the corridor and it begins to open. What are you going to do? Hide? Okay. Okay. We hide. I hide successfully with the twin. You hide? Yes. Okay. You duck away and hide inside the room, and just as you see these people. Start to sneak down the corridor from the right, <laughs> following the Neogi and the captive gnomes okay, so and the crime lord. Strange, this, you this, must attack them immediately. <laughs> yes, strange <laughs> people who don't look like they belong. <laughs> you, see a, you see a hippo. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> we successfully made all Quick, this stuff wrong. Make an intelligence test. <laughs> they haven't seen us yet, have they? No. No, you successfully still. <laughs> I love that so much. What, what shall we do? Shall we hide? <laughs> oh, come on. We're already hiding from them. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is a cooperative game. <laughs> is it? Yeah. But it's it really? It's a really it's cooperative it game. It could be if you made it so. <laughs> I don't... We're just following the lead of our glorious leader. I don't know about what this. should be, but at the moment I see a, a stand-up comedy performance. <laughs> <laughs> so what? We just leap out and go, Surprise! If you want, we can. I, mean, I don't think that would be wise because it might alert any that. other servants. Since nobody else seems to be taking any initiative on this, um, the bosun yes. gives frantic signals to the other party members to <laughs> kill them. <laughs> this Do they assuming, take the hint? This is assuming the bosun knows any about, knows these guys are here. That's true. Unfortunately, they successfully still. Oh, but he could right. perceptions, couldn't he? Um, <laughs> it is definitely the case that as they sneak down the corridor, yes, they are trying to make perceptions to detect other staff members that would cover you two. So yes, make a perception roll, John. Okay. No one will know who we are. Oh. Twenty. No problem. Out of the corner of your eye, you realise that these two idiots are hiding in the room peeking out behind the door, which is slightly ajar. I, I have okay. a lamp shade so on my head. There's I no frantically signal them, me. and with my over, comically over-large mouth, mm-hmm. I mouth the words, come with us. Hang on, have to take intelligence test for that. Oh, Peter, you're Peter, being a hey, You're now being <laughs> Okay. I just oh, do what Professor God. Bobo does. I'm coming, yeah, why not? Okay, I'm okay, following Professor Bobo. What we have <coughs> managed to reconnect the party. Most oh, of them, except, except, them. except for this guy, we don't know where yes. he is. No, now. he's doing a sweeping manoeuvre. Uh, okay, so I've got the pain stick and the nap. All the really things. You put the uh, over I'm going to have them them. back down the steps. Well, they had them. Back down the steps because there's no, they the human back. and the elf, right? The, the people that hang in the meat? Yes, there's the he two humans and a half uh, uh, yes. okay. what, what, yes. so what, um, what are you going to do? You're going to go downstairs yep. and confront Sounds them again? Are you going to yes. go and sneak around? Okay. Nope, I'm going to go back down and confront them again. Oh, do I find them all? Why? Yes. Why? 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 Look what I found. And I show them the stick and then I cast sleep. <laughs> okay. Ah. 
Um, how at second level? Okay. Exactly. How many? Uh, well, there's zero level. Uh, so chili flakes. Workers. So Ooh, yeah. So I might not need a second level. Could I do it at first level? Probably. Okay. I cast it at first level. Well, Four, that feels interesting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then sixteen points. There's three of them. Okay. But uh, they've got one hit dice each. Let's assume that it's basic d6 hit dice. Uh, three. Um, I'll take the average of um, 3.3. Three of those makes it round up to 10. Um, so you've made that comfortably. Awesome. Now I'm going to drag their bodies into the office, mm-hmm. put them there, and I want the elf's clothes. Okay. And I want to put that on. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Is this one of those cartoon movements when... Now I've got the paint stick of the net and I look like one of the workers. Mm-hmm. I don't even have a face resemble. So in general terms, what is your plan? What are you your making species? it all up as you go along? Was, um, I'm going to go back out around he's the top. I'm going to look for the, he's half the party now. Oh, okay. but he's I'll fine. carry the paint stick of the net with the same me, anyway. just in case I can't bluff anyone with it. Does this thing have a hood by any chance? Can I cover my face in any um, way? Um, <laughs> five or six of this. Three. No, sorry. Okay. It does not have uh, a Okay, that's okay. Um, all right. No, that's fine. The, the, what does your character's disguise like? Is that a... Yes. Oh, well, do I have this Deception. Deception. Okay. Your bar. Deception will be amazing. Yeah, it yes, it will be. It should be. should be. It should be. Okay. Dave's enraptured. <laughs> going uh, to be moderately no, difficult to pick plan recipe. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, hang on, hang on. Saxon. Yep. I did not see that roll. I would like oh, to roll an advantage oh. and use one of my oh, okay. Okay. one of my things. Oh, Shit. Jesus. Seven, uh so no, no, that's alright. And I'll I'll rub it. Hang on. Take my inspiration off. Go. Yep. I have. Uh so deception. Alright, so Is it twelve or more? It is 12. Uh, okay, in that case, you just make it. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe disguise right. yourself as your own species. No, as one of the workers. That actually sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Each to their this own. Is if you're into workers, I suppose it does. Change your body um, stride. Um, maybe slouch a bit. Yep. Um, yeah. Do a work or push out the. I am. Push out the cheeks a bit to make yourself a bit more jowly. Can what I the hell have. Is he? a, <laughs> He's disguising himself. Can I have a perception roll to maybe work out which would be the best seat to sit on for the arena? This, this sounds worse than Sean Connery trying to predict or trying to be a jacket. <laughs> um. We have something better. With regard to So maybe like the orientation of the animal, like where yeah. would be the best one to watch this thing happen? Okay, they're going to come in here. Yeah. Um, if you're, say, standing <coughs> or, or if, if you're sitting... No, I don't want to sit. Okay, no, standing, stand stand standing or guard or beside the yeah, door yeah. here. That's where I'm going to stand then. Okay, yeah. Okay then, so... Let me just think. Is all in readiness? Yes, I think it's time for the super villain speech. Okay, <coughs> night, and we're up to a quarter to ten. So um, yeah, we'll probably make um, this the climax. How should I handle this? Okay, the crime lord comes in, followed by the others, his bodyguard, the Niobe and their bodyguards, and the gnome. Um, Wigan on, he certainly sees you, but that's not nowhere near good enough to actually uh, make your deception. Uh, is everything in readiness? Yeah, so the, the, the like the... Lord of the place is in mm-hmm. there. Yeah, they uh, come in. Uh, I say, <clears throat> yes, my lord. <clears throat> so, my lord. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have so the, um, every, that particular party comes in. Uh, do they close the door behind them? Yes, they do, but they do not lock it. Your friends will never find you now. So, depending on how <laughs> stealthily you go, you may be able to open the door. You lot may be able to open the door a little bit to hear what goes on next. I, I just want to eye the other side. Approximately how many feet across is this bit? That's 50 foot the diagonals uh, across the yeah. diameter. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. Jump down. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, the crime lord and the neogi will line up. Um, the, uh, they've got the two gnomes looking subdued. Um, now, uh, the master neogi's name is Nagak. Your characters don't actually know that. I'll simply. Um, mention it now simply so that the players know who is doing the speaking sure. um, Nagak uh, turns to um, one of the gnomes, the slightly older looking gnome and says now Thrugasha you have developed a piece of technology which I am very interested in now oh, hold on a second rewind yeah, rewind, please. You said Frobisher. Yeah. Yes. Frobisher Globe Cutter. It's definitely one of them. Um, the, the, with interest, the Neogi turns to the Crime Lord and says, Where is the daughter of this gnome? And. Um, uh, Do we have her on our ship? Yeah. She is. Yes, that is absolutely yes. correct. With, with her cyber guard. Um, and. Um, uh, the Crime Lord. Looks a little bit perturbed. It says she has not been brought here yet. My operatives have not reported back about whether they have succeeded in kidnapping her. The Neogi, look, look, to the extent that you can read a um, the expressions on an extremely non human face, uh, looks slightly disgusted. You should be more careful about keeping your agreements. I am displeased. Don't let it happen again. Then he turns back to um, Frobisher Globecard and says, You have developed a piece of technology that I am very interested in. So far, you have resisted my blandishments to my most generous offer of an agreement, a working partnership in producing more of these. I believe that more... Persuasion should be put into it. I had thought that your daughter would be here to perhaps persuade you to make uh, arrangements with me. But fortunately, your second in command is here. And he gestures here to um, the second gnome, who again, the uh, players don't know this, but the characters, uh, sorry, Characters don't know this, but the players do. It's Johan Whittlebright. This will be the fate of your daughter once we bring her in and all of the surviving crew members. Throw this gnome to the Neogi Grand Master. And almost as though it can understand this, even though it's been reduced to bestial mentality, the Grand Master looks up almost slathering in anticipation at no nom noms. And that's where we'll leave it off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Uh, <clears throat> that was that was fun. Yeah. And which is where well, we we fumbled around inside a mansion. Something for rare a in a um, in a mm. role playing game. Mm. It actually all made sense. <laughs> no combat. Yes, I was expecting the combat to touch be started, but I guess we'll be no, happening we, next we, week. We've been, we've been, we've been deciding not to uh, dive straight in, and dive get straight killed. in and get killed. What's wrong with this? You are planning. You are cunning planners. <sighs> so that was the mm -hmm. Neogi talking. Yes, that was um, <laughs> the Neogi master. Yeah. Um, yes. Nagak, not the Grand Master. Nagak. Nagak. Yes, N A G G A. No, I did some looking up on the head of the Jackson. N 
Nine double G A in cash. Yeah, he's a Russian operator. <laughs> he's an asshole. He's yeah. yeah. So they they claim they claim they've done testing but won't release the results. Here's so. what I found about him. As I was saying, um, I've maybe you've been handling it wrong. Maybe I need to present a legitimate type of separation. So this is him. And I said, observe the gentleman. His name is Umar Kremlev and he's the head of the International Boxing Association. And boy, what okay, a piece of work. Say, partial list of his dirty work. I'm always worried about that because no matter how many times I practice, to I use it so rarely, I keep worrying that I'm not going to save on the testing properly. What's the, the um, hmm? gnome that's about to be fed to the Grandmaster? That name? was Johan Wittelbright. He made Gazprom the sole sponsor of the IBA. Gazprom, that's the one. <laughs> he opposes the independent appointment of judges and referees because, of course, he does. He is the chief re reason the International Olympic Committee has deregistered the IBA yes. and taken control of Olympic boxing itself. Now, you know there's been a controversy about an Algerian boxer. He made yeah, yeah, press stop now. When Ms. Kelly did.